Greetings, adventurers! Hey, everybody! I am the Friendly Neighborhood Dungeon Master, otherwise known as the Effin DM, and this is Cold Hard Witch, a lawful stupid RPG brought to you. Uh, this is our playthrough of the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden module brought to you by Lawful Stupid. Um, shall we go down? Shall we go around and introduce the full cast? We are up to full power tonight. So, starting off, we've got Madeline, who's playing Zolvana, the bard. Buddy, who plays Xander, he's a whiz. And then Amy, who plays Fariel, the drogue. We have Nathan, the professor, on Warlock. And then Chelsea, the newest, the newest fighter to the ring, is Delphina, the cleric. And last, but certainly never least, he's got an idea. Rodney playing Flynn, the dwarf flinging, worm slaying fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the party. Gather around the campfire, y'all. So last time, our hairy group of adventurers had found themselves on the road, having lost a friend and gained a friend, and then plucked from time and space and slapped down into the cave of the berserkers. Things were going a bit berserk inside as they discovered some wormlings, which were then handily handled by the party. No thanks to, uh, no thanks in small part to uh, Flynn's, uh, Flynn, well, fair, say it again, Amy. Flynn Riel. Flynn Riel. <laughs> 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 our, our, our mashup of, uh, of, of players this is, it's, it's like a glee episode around here we just like to slam things it's great um, <laughs> so uh yeah with flynn riel uh coming in clutch with some crossbow bolts and then it was at this moment after killing the wormlings that they discovered that another berserker had been unleashed in the cave itself and after a hearty battle wherein resources were burned to the limit and things were just like going pell mel they slay the creature he drops and then almost immediately gets right the hell back up yeah. it's at this point that the entire party realized that they might be in a bit more trouble than they first anticipated and so party members we are jumping right back into the fray with as the berserker then recovers we're going right back to the start of our uh, initiative order which i believe has the professor jumping back in and play that beautiful battle music let's do this party so the berserker rises back up and as he does so you see the small moat of fire raise up and as it comes back down it slams into his chest as it slams into his chest a ripple effect goes out and across the room all of you are knocked back and prone you have uh. a moment to catch your breath and as you do that all of you would then begin to sit up as you sit up you look around and flynn you sit up sylvana you sit up sander you sit up Everyone's looking around, and then Fariel, you sit up, and you're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, everyone, make a group arcana check. And hope the professor rolls high. No. Nope, natural one. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> it's good. We got it out of the way. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So right out the gate, we're stumbling. I love it. All right. The liquid core die is on is on timeout for a little bit. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's 18 for me. Yeah. 18 so, for me. My nice. So uh, I see a 15, a 16, and a 17. Xander with a 16. Flynn with yep. a 17. Nice. Uh, I got an 18. Oh, the, girl, the 15. Level. Okay, great. So all of you managed to, anyone who cleared that 15 mark, you see as the shot goes down, boom, drops, and this this blast knocks you all out. As you all sit back up, you see this almost like uh, those of you who were in the cauldron caverns see this like wisp just kind of shoot back down the hallway and go here to the left. That's where the 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 energy came from. That's yeah. You see, you see. No, the, so the ripple or, uh, originated from the berserker itself. It slammed out and knocked you all back. As he then gets, as he then got back up. But then there seemed to be almost like a trail, or or like I said, almost like a wisp of energy that seemed to go down, like shoot back down the hallway. 
in in this in this area. And yeah, in this vicinity, for those of you, I'm pinging on the map. Ping party. Ping party. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Professor, the, the the turn is yours, sir. Uh, but this dude, this dude is still angry he's, and he's looking like, at us. Comes up, cracks his neck, and you hear him. He starts to say, "All the world in winter white, sheathed in ice and sleet, set upon everlasting night, she conquers paradise." Yes, I yes, we we, we we know this by now, and we'll mind sliver. Um. So I need a uh, intelligence save. That just oh, rolled good. the damage. Darn it, did. Oh, well. <laughs> no, that's all right. Well, thankfully, he is a very intelligent barbarian. That was sorry. Uh, DC 14. Uh, all right. What, I'm sorry. What was, the, what was the DC I've got to beat? Uh, DC 14 in intelligence save. Oh, excellent. Well, thankfully, he, uh, <laughs> he's got a negative one to that roll, so let's see how that goes. Uh, huh, okay, he rolled an eight, so, uh, yeah. Excellent. I'm, yeah. Uh, uh, so what that roll? Uh, four psychic damage and excellent. minus D4 on his next saving throw. Oh. So, as, uh, so as as you sh so what, what does this mind sliver look like, Professor? Uh, it's a it's a mental attack, and so I just just lash out with a just a focused uh, like mental barrage and just just ping it. <laughs> Dig it. Just ping him. So as, <laughs> but as you see this, uh, as you it's like or not at, you don't see it. It's mind, but. Yeah. Uh, uh, as as you reach out to sort of shatter his mind, sure enough, like he hits, and you see his neck snap back, and he, uh, like his eye loses focus for a second, and then he drops again down to the floor. Does he stay down this time? He has not gotten back up at the start of the professor's turn, nor at the start of Zolvana's turn. Zolvana, it is your turn. The Berserker is currently prone on the ground. That was too easy. <laughs> um, all right. Look, you guys don't trust me. What's going on? Well, the, the, the battle music is still playing. Um, <laughs> can, I, can I take movement? What's that? Can I take movement? You can always take movement. Okay, I'm going to move sh just straight north from where I was you, at. You move me every day. Mm. All right, so yeah, move straight north. Got it. All right, so um, we were prone and we sat up. Does that mean that we have to take a movement to actually get up to standing? Correct. So uh, from prone position, you can take half of your movement to rise, and then you still have half of your movement to then go through. Uh, I believe for most of you, that's going to be like uh, fifteen to get up, and then fifteen movement. Yeah. And you know. All right, so um, I'm gonna take fifteen to get up, and. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, who who else saw the the spirit thing go down the hall? Should we be investigating this? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, we, I mean, we have to assume he's gonna come back though, so we need to. I mean, tie him up or divide and conquer. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So that's true. <laughs> Splitting the party always a good thing. Always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 15 feet isn't really going to do me any good, so I might as well just stay here. Um, so, wait, where is the... Is he the guy with the pink thing on him? That is the guy with the pink thing on him, yes, because okay. if you remember correctly, you had fairy fire, so uh, any attack made against him was with advantage. Yes, okay, so... Um, should, should, should we... I have rope. Do I mean to just go tie him up? <laughs> yeah, heck yeah! If you think you can do it, all right, I'll try. Can I? Can, is it a? Um, do I have to roll to tie someone up? <laughs> so he is currently prone. Uh, so it, it, like I, I've, um, we'll, we'll say well, you can make a. Uh, give me, uh, give me an, an acrobatics check just to like see how good you can tie this rope. 
And then, uh, but he is like, the, you can tie him up. It's whether or not it's strong enough to hold a berserker is going to be your issue. But you absolutely can tie him up. And then let's see, uh, let's see you roll that uh, acrobatics check to see just how, uh, whether or not you can hold him. I don't know if I trust one of these fellows uh, just tied up behind us. Um, I rolled a twenty. And, okay, yeah, well then, that was a, that's a that's a pretty handy knot. That'll <laughs> do Bard. Not to do that again. Ha <laughs> 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 Oh, wrong. Uh, afraid not. All right, so. Um, womp womp. Okay, so I'm over here. So you know. So so you see Zalvana like rush to the to the berserker's prone figure, and she just hog ties him. Like, yes. Either efficiently, and you're just like. Either she's done this before, or you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question what happens in the celestial realm stays in the celestial realm. All right. Yeah, I mean, you know, Bards is. Uh... We we get around. <laughs> Occupational hazard, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Jack of all trades, you know. <laughs> I like it. All right, uh, Zolvana. So that's your action, your movement. Do you have a bonus action? Um. All right. I don't think I actually have any bonus action fun things left. One second. Take it. Yeah, I say I remember. remember yeah. Being pretty tapped at, at the end. Yeah, of I'm. I am all tapped. All right. Cool. Uh, next up then is Xander. Hmm. Okay. So I guess I'll spend half my movement to stand. Unfortunately. There was a nice ice hole back there. We could just shove them down that. I was going to make an ice hole joke. Okay, I'm great. Gonna, uh, yes. Way to be. I'm going to dash <laughs> to here, DM. Okay, excellent. So that's that's 45 feet. Uh, yeah. And I know that the dash is technically my action, but I would love it if I could give just a bit of a listen to hear if I hear another Berserker. Oh, I mean, yeah. Maybe that uh, I have to I have to wait. Because, I'm not sure that I can. Because I am that. a friendly neighborhood DM and I'm not unkind. Go ahead and uh, just give me a quick perception roll. Uh, 13. Okay, the 13. You hear the crackling of fire. And okay. that is it. I will, um, I'll try to whisper back to the group that I hear fire. Awesome. Dig it. So you, so, uh, Xander, let's say, whispers back to the group, I hear fire. And Lynn. All right. I'm going to use half my movement to stand up. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go over to the berserker. And I'm just gonna just drive my swords into into this head. All right. Dig yeah. It, dig I mean, it. I feel like if we liquefy him, there's no way he can get back up. You gotta. You gotta separate the head, right? Like, destroy the head or remove the brain. I mean, these are not. These are not. It's logical. Right. I mean, just he treat it like a zombie. Treat it like a zombie. He can't come back if there's nothing to come back to. Yeah. Right. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, sever the head. Also, are we still connected via psychically? Is I'm, there a time limit on that, Flynn, for your... Uh, uh do 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 look, look at the... I know there was like a, a, there's like a limit of people you can have attached to it, but I didn't think there was. Um... It doesn't say. Yeah. Or, so. like, yeah. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't give me a time limit. And yeah. So you can. Yeah. So I believe you're still mind melded with. Uh, so I, you were connected to, I think, Xander, uh, <laughs> Fariel, <laughs> and Madeline, right? Yes. Because because the professor has tele, tele, uh, telepathy as well. Absolutely. Yes. So and so between the two of you, you guys play a really fun game of telephone. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll relay that I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut this off. Okay, cool. 
Um, and that's gonna be make D attack. Don't okay, fifteen. Nice. Fifteen does hit. And that nice. is I say that, that that ten damage is, is coming in pretty clutch. So uh as you go ahead and so you so both both so is this one rapier or two rapiers? I mean Um well I'll do I'll do, I'll do both. I'm standing Play here and I can't. Right? Yeah, yeah. So coming in and then looking, and you, so you're looking to just like stab down into the neck and then try to like scissor, like scissor out and just cut yeah, that. If I, up. if I could, if I could drop it, it, like drop it in between a vertebrae and just like get that thing off there. Dig it. <laughs> Dig it. So as like the damage goes in you, and, and you, you are, you are efficient in your craft. Good, sir. So <laughs> I, you go ahead and like drop the blades in and you go to make that cut push and you go to try to make that final sweep and as you try to get your arms to clear which is a motion that you've done several times you almost feel this sort of magnetic pushback as if you are denied the continuation of your move so it's like and your arms kind of get knocked back you see the cuts in his neck start to heal back up and the damage is done but he's not like but the head is not severed Everyone, get the hell away from this thing. Go, go, get away, get away from this. Just go. All right. Uh, anything else, Flynn? Um, no, because I'm going to stay here to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like I'm punching in. All right. <laughs> go to work. All right, All right awesome. Uh, so no bonus actions? Uh. If it's healing up, I, I, I can put another, another uh, sword into him. Yeah, you could do a little backhand or a dagger flip. Just, you know, give me something cool. Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, do, I'll do another. I'll, do, I'll drop another <laughs> attack on him. <laughs> uh, 13, 13. Is a contest. So go ahead and get your. Well, I'll say, go ahead and just roll off a d20 for me. I'm going to crack off my cracking dice here. Ooh, I rolled a six. Is ah! this barbarian guy prone? He is prone. That's true. He is prone. Does Flynn have advantage? Oh, he does. Oh, sweet Jesus. Thank you, because that was a four. <laughs> That's an 18. OK, well, now keep in mind. So this this contest, actually, that was for your attack. So you, if you roll again for your rapier attack and see if you see if you get higher than a 13, we won't even have to contest it. This is my second attack, though. But that 18 is pretty clutch, yeah. Oh, the the, the advance on the on the attack. I, I, I advantage on the attack. I, I yes, the yes. I say the attack has advantage. No. Nope. Okay. Oh. So that <laughs> still stands. <laughs> oh, I tried. <laughs> so as so then as you go ahead and like flip your dagger, I imagine it's the dagger or is it a second sword attack? Uh it's second sword attack. Excellent. So as you try to bring that 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 sword around, shoot, sure enough, his berserker hands go shoot and catch your wrist. God. Eyes, look like, eye, cold blue eyes locks at you and you just see him, all oh, the world. All oh, the blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> As he stands up and sort of like, a, and he like releases your arm and you see him, he starts thumping his chest. Pardon me, Dan, yes, you said he was hogtied earlier, which negates, oh, his, negates his ability to stand up <laughs> or catch Flynn's hands. Damn. All right, so, actually, hang Take on. all your flavor away. I uh, say, well, hang on a sec. Just before we get too crazy on that. With a, oh, nope, strength roll of a 17. Yeah, so he, so as he sits there and th that sword comes around, like he manages, so it comes around, he catches it and it actually winds up bearing it back into his neck and it's there that he stops, looks at you, like sword in his neck and it just starts spouting off. Oh, the world, and you, you, yeah, 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 exactly. So with that 17, he is still hogtied, and he's going to go ahead and use his action to try to break that restraint. Question? Flynn, maybe you should sever I'm, his vocal cords. I'm, thinking, I'm yeah, not on I'm the initiative order. Would oh. I go after Flynn? Uh, Delphina we is not on the initiative together. either. <gasps> oh, ye gads. All right, y'all, uh, go ahead and uh, roll in your initiatives, and let's, uh, let's slap you in there. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and put you, uh, Ariel, just under 
of Flynn. Let's just do that. Yeah. Yeah, because at, at, at 12, well, <laughs> this, this is three. It, it's three. Uh, and then Delphina, I believe yours was after the Berserkers, or? I think so. I just rolled one, but it was a three, so gross. Well, 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 well do. Well do. <laughs> yeah, I rolled just to get myself on the tracker, but I'm happy to ignore that number and just go after mm -hmm. Flynn, because I think that makes sense. Right, 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 right. Actually, I probably have you go just before him, as I think your initiative might be a little higher than his. But, so let's go ahead and slap you in at a... Seven. Ah, uh, maths. All right, enter. And then, uh, Chelsea, I don't see Delphina on the initiative. Yeah, she's not in either. It must not like me, because I even refreshed roll 20 and clicked and did the things. All right, let me see. I got a three. I mean, I can I can always roll it again if I need yeah, to. Yeah, hang on. Let me see if I can. Uh, Delphina. Uh, it's okay. She doesn't want to fight anyway. So yeah, she's, she's right. Like, she's cool. <laughs> she's a lover. <laughs> yeah, you, for some reason, your role didn't pop up for me. in. Yeah, I didn't see it roll play either. So I was like, huh, weird. But I've got you in there. And then let's play the game called Everyone Goes in there. Um, take it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So with a little bit of time warp, <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and uh, so, Fariel, I'll have you go now, even though okay. you go after, and then uh, Delphina, you'll go after Fariel, and then the Berserker uh, will go, and all will be well with the world. <laughs> so, Fariel, you're up. Okay, um, I'm gonna go up and help my buddy Flynn yeah. out. Um, so this guy's neck is it like? completely healing over or is there still like so what happens is is the weapons seem to bite in and as they bite in and cut they then seem to then get pushed out as if the body is like okay cute but no and like as if there's like a magnetic force uh, similar to the energy that knocked all of you back and down when he was first killed this energy seems to now be pushing your weapons out from his body. And what would normally be a killing blow on any creature just seems to be shrugged off. Okay. I'm going to look up at Flynn and just be like, do we keep hacking at this guy or should we try to throw him in the hole? I'm, I'm down for the whole idea to just to get him away from us. Okay, so assuming I used half my movement to get up, I don't have much left, but I will just grab him and start trying to drag him, I guess. I'm I not super it. strong, but... No, I, I'm not even mad about it. I love the image <laughs> of, like, like dragging the rope and the berserker's like, oh, the world in winter white! <laughs> it's just like, yeah, 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 shut up. You're going in the hole. All right, <laughs> All right awesome sauce. So, uh, Fariel, with... So, with Half of your movement, half of your movement. I think you're able to drag him because uh, carrying a creature reduces your movement to half. And since you are already half from being prone. Yeah, we get like five feet. A five, yeah, a total of five <laughs> feet, which, which is okay. He's a he's a oh lord, he coming. Like he's a chonky boy. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. Awesome sauce. So, is he you, still running his mouth? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If I, if I, if, let, let's just, if I drop a, a hand axe in his face and I don't take it out, Will that be enough to shut him up? See, that's actually what I was thinking. I was thinking about taking my dagger and just like And if you leave it there. Like toothpicking his mouth shut. So you are you are more than, you're more than welcome to try it. I, I I mean I'm more than welcome to play with that flip. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll give it a try. Why not? Alright, so we'll say that like you're gonna for the sake of mechanics, like bonus action, unarmed strike him with an axe. <laughs> Um, or, uh, I was going to use my dagger. Okay, cool. So, like, like that. Yeah, and then just chunk right up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So roll that hit. Um, 23 to hit. 23. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. So well, as you no, like, wait, does, does she have advantage on him? Uh, she does. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can see Quick if I finish. Let's see. No fucking lie. I just rolled a nat 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay, that 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 beautiful be little <laughs> Kraken guy. Yeah. The uh, Saltmarsh crew are not the only ones that know how to fish. 
<laughs> Hook, line, and thinker. All right, so uh, as that dagger goes up, shoot, like it drives up and through, like you literally push the hilt just under his chin and the top of your dagger comes up through the top of his skull. Like it is just horrid looking. And as you sit there, it, like his jaw gets clenched up and he's, and you're like, oh, finally some quiet. And then as you start to, And you're like just dragging him across the ice. You hear the sort of sickening, like. And you see your dagger getting pushed back out through <laughs> his jaw. <laughs> I love that. So, and so as you go to grab the dagger and shove it back up, like you can actively feel his body, almost like a magnet. Oh, that's like so gross. Pushing the dagger back out. And so you're having to both like, Keep the dagger in his, just, just in his, tight, his just tight under his jaw. And, like, you're <laughs> tie it on. And, 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 ask, ask him how he does that. That could be useful later. Right? Maybe we should like <laughs> get the the professor to just analyze this guy. Yeah. So as the uh, as the grossest body drag you've ever done, which is a statement I didn't think I was going to say on Saturday, but hey, here mm. we are. Uh, <laughs> you start- so no need to roll damage. On that uh, yeah again it, it seems like the any damage you do is almost immediately negated just negated gotcha by body like just not what? i saw so i see this happening and i look back at flynn like what is this guy no no and i hate it <laughs> hate this place right uh <laughs> that brings us to delphine all right so it looks like my spiritual weapon is still engaged mm-hmm so I do not have to redo that. Yeah. So we are trying to, who, who's hurt first of all? I think we're all down just a tad, or yeah. have, mm, most of and us. Across the board, it seems that but, well, both Flynn and Xander seem to have taken a brunt of the damage, both from, remember the Wormlings flame breath attack or yeah. ice mm-hmm. breath attack. Um, and but and then everyone else has maybe like a smattering of damage here and there. Uh, the Berserker was not terribly efficient in attacking, but terrifyingly efficient in terrifying you. So. Awesome. So I'm going to Cleric, and I will use Cure Wounds on Flynn. Hell yeah, Cleric. Nice, thank you. You are welcome. Because Delphina notices you're hurt and she does not like that. So you get 14 points of uh, healing. Excellent. Can you move up? To, uh, so I need to move to touching distance. You get yourself up to prone and then 5, 10. Yeah, okay, good. So you're able to get up to him to touch and be like, bubbling. I think. Okay, I hope you feel better now. I'm but really, that, I'm, I'm sorry you got hurt. That, so that's it's, a beautiful 14 healing. Yes. Magic um, not out. Right, excellent. Uh, anything else from Delphina? I away. can use my beautiful spiritual weapon, but are we throwing him in a hole? Do I need to attack him? Do I, do I need to hit him or? Seems pointless. Bring it, <laughs> bring it up by me. Unless. Oh, okay. You, you can, you can, you can borrow it, and I will. I'll send my. I'll send. I guess the spiritual weapon up near Xander, just in case. We might need I more think. than weapons to keep him down. I mean, I don't, I don't, I can't really do a whole lot, but I, I can, I can, I, 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 I can like st- stand on him or something. And I have manacles. Does that, does that work? My grandmother made me bring them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, at some point I want to sit down and hear a story of how you're, Nana was like, and remember, Delphina, manacles. <laughs> I mean, I just want to know what's going on in the celestial realm. I mean, <laughs> that is a party I need to get to. No, no kink shame in Celestia, all right? No. They don't yuck anybody's yums here. I'm not. I'm saying I need to get on that guest list. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, where's that portal? All right. Uh, okay, so okay. If, that's, if that's it, then I, I guess I just stand here. Excellent. So, so as you stand here, as so, so the image I've got in my head right now is Fariel has like 
hands on the berserker's rope is trying to drag him from like the, either the foot or the hands and then has her hand, other hand on the dagger keeping it in his mouth so he shuts the hell up so you can hear <laughs> and then Flynn is also sort of has like a hand on the berserker and is helping to drag him is that yeah okay good and then yeah Delphi yeah yay team um and then the, with the professor and Zilvana sort of like surveying the land and Xander has sort of uh, scouted up ahead. And it's at this point that the Berserker is now gonna try to break his restraints. So he goes ahead, rolls a strength check. Ooh. All right, Zilvana, it's your rope. Roll me a contest. I will roll my Kraken dice. They came up with a 16. Oh, you are in a cone of silence, Sylvan. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We were excited. I rolled a 17. <laughs> oh, you! <yeah. laughs> awesome. <laughs> like, sit there and just like. <laughs> I love seeing the excitement, well, but your mic is still muted, so it's like this silent joy. <laughs> you know, as a PM, I was just like, oh, is this like, oh, this is terrible, or oh, this is <laughs> uh, like, awesome. Yes. So he, so he can, he's like, oh, and like somehow the, the dagger under his chin and like everybody on him, he just doesn't, he can't quite seem to get a break on the rope. However, he does have three separate attacks, so I will roll one more strength attack. Oh, oh, you know what? His action is his action. Yeah, it's not an attack I'll if it's it just a check. I'll let, yeah, I'll let it stand. He's attacking the rope, buddy. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, I, I had not considered that. I apologize. I attack the, the rope. Um, all right, so uh, I'll let that stand because that's some fun RP. Uh, all right, so now we're back to top of the order and Professor, you hear from the chamber up ahead. There's fire in the chamber, and, like there's fire up ahead. And that's as Xander is whispering back to the room. I'm gonna move up and uh, get a look with Xander up here. All right, and I'll dash up top here. Okay, excellent. So I see you right there with next to Xander and have we named your your spirit and the feather and yeah, yeah. So, I feel like Quill would be a good name that's just me or like Duster oh. <laughs> I do need to name it maybe right. she'll figure that out yeah right maybe she'll figure that out all right so uh, Professor as you move up anything else uh no um. Nope, that's about it. I mean, I've got a bonus action. I'll cast Shillelagh just, uh, just for fun. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just to have it up. But that's it. Never hurts. Uh, well, actually, it does. But anyway, uh, Zolvana, you're up. Um, okay. So I, I feel like I can't really do anything. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over here to just, you know, in case stuff happens. You can but help pull. Can yeah. I help pull? Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Like I said, he is a cocky <clears throat> boy, so the more people help pull him, the, okay. more, the farther distance you can get. Plus, I think you're pretty strong. I am strong like Ariel, pull. Yeah. <laughs> um, where is he? I don't even see him right now. So, he is the so the berserker I believe is currently under Delphina or no is currently under Flynn's character so yeah okay. so so okay so I was here ish I think so I'll yeah. try to move right here to pull him towards the hole yeah because we're going towards this hole down yeah, here absolutely so if I I'm gonna move Flynn mm -hmm. and then move him a total of fifteen feet so I'll have so we did five feet from Ferio and then five ten. 15 will get him to right there is where okay. we have the, uh, the berserker. So, let me just move right there next to him. Okay. So, yeah. And, then, and uh, um, sort of keep, <laughs> keep on him. 
yeah. And um, can I hold an action? So having pulled, the, so like pulling him is your action, like okay. is your action, and then also your movement as well. Okay. Um, so holding an action requires you to have an action available. Yeah. But, but tell me what you want to do, and I'll either laugh at your plan. Or- no, I just, I just wasn't sure. I thought like movement was just movement and stuff. So but, it's fine. The so movement by yourself is just movement. <clears throat> Age another character that is considered an action. An action. Or, okay. What are you going to do? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> just, get, just getting ready to like, you know. I got you. But I'm poke, ready. No I'm just getting what. ready to poke people if I need to. Just take that's it. all. Take it, take it. No, okay, cool. Uh, then we'll go ahead and jump to Xander. All right. I am going to move up. Um... Well, so first and foremost, remember that the light blue aura that I have out is what I can see in dark vision. So I feel like I am owed a little bit more in the uh, kind of here area and here area. Oh, fair, fair, fair. I was, uh, that is. So if I can see that a little bit before I. No, you are 100% correct. I, as a DM, was just kind of focused on other things. Crazily enough. Huh. Yeah. Tell me about being focused on other things. <laughs> uh, like, what's what's a chapter in that book look like? Yeah. Uh, so let's see here. Look at that. Kind of being there. Yeah, we'll say that is where you're at. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come up uh, 10 feet to here and see what I can see down this way. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of. I'm gonna stay kind of close to the wall, and and look around. That is a that is a wonderful chunk of like dark visionness happening for you. Well, you know, it's just it's sixty feet, which is what most folks the dark vision have is just when you see it on the map, it's like oh, I can really see a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh. Seeing some trifle and nonsense, is that what you're saying? No, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, what do you see? Did, did you just telepathy, telepathy me that? Yeah, uh, your yes. telepathy's one Absolute, way, though. Your telepathy's absolutely. One, it's one way, though, right? Uh, actually, yeah, I do think you're right. <laughs> um, and you're, what did you see? You're like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> And I, I will look back at him and, and just kind of make a whisper of some sort of magical flame pot thing. Um, five, ten. I'm going to go ahead and, and scoot ten more feet to here and just see if that clarifies anything for me. Excellent. So as you get closer to that flame pot, as you called it, uh, you notice that there are hundreds of icicles sort of coalescing down from 12 foot tall ceiling in this frost rind chamber. And it's bathed in this sort of flickering cold blue light. In the center of the room is a stone brazier. It stands against the far wall. This trail of smoke seems to rise up from it. And every few moments, if you look at it hard enough, you see that sort of aurora shimmer that you noticed from time to time around uh, uh, Herrick. And then it coalesces into this image of a woman. And then fades away and then starts again to just sort of slowly rise. And again, takes that form again. Only this time, as it forms up, you see the head of the woman arc out into two ram's horns, and then again fade out. You sort of, you're, you're like, as you're looking at me right now, that is the look on Xander's face. He's just sort of mesmerized by this. He can't quite look away, and then in the back of his head, he hears. Uh, yikes. Uh, I'm gonna cast... 
message to the professor and say, holy shit, you got to get up here. I, I don't even know what this is. And I'll respond. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way. Excellent. With that, we jumped to Ferry. Unless, uh, Xander, do you have anything else you want to try to do with your... You've uh, actioned out. Yeah. Can I go back to East Haven? No. I'm wishing you were back in East Haven by the time this is done. All right. You know what, Professor? When you get up here, you're going to say, yeah, East Haven's not so bad. Uh, Ryan, will you check the Zoom chat, please? Uh, will do. All right. Um, Fariel, I believe you're up. Amy, what you Okay. Um, I'm going to 5, 10, 15 feet of my 30 feet of movement to get to Big Bad again. Dig it. And then I'm going to use the rest of my movement plus action and bonus action dash movements to drag this guy as far as I can. So that should be 30, 60, 75 feet halved. Right. Which is math, and I kind of hate you for it. But let's see. 30. 30 is 15. What is that? 30. Right? 35, I think, would be yeah, roughly. Ish, ish. Yeah. Well, it's a different to say 35. So I think if uh, the if the mapping guide is any indication, that'll get you to right about R. So as go ahead and clicky to move. Zerker will get right to there, I believe. Which is so close to the hole, it's scary. Are we not doing phrasing anymore? Oh. Nope. <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> Why start now? <laughs> hey, we are who we are. And with that, with the bonus action, action, and the dragging, he is like, you are just, come on, you stupid son of a... And yeah. so from there, Flynn, you're up. Okay. Um, where am I? I am way back here. Um, because all I've got is movement, and I'm all the way back by this rock here. Mm -hmm. Um, if it looks like Fariel has like has it covered, um, I I'm gonna I'll butt up behind um the professor here. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so still, still the swords. Pull up, pull back out the crossbow, and give it to the professor. Excellent. Uh, Xander and or professor are either of you more uh, the like? Are, are they of you shouting back to the party, kind of keeping them abreast of things, or are you just sort of a two man? <laughs> are, are the are the spellcasters off on a mission? No, I was I was waiting for my turn. But if I don't have to wait for my turn, I was going to telepathy uh flynn or since he's here now i'll telepathy delphina cool. excellent uh just let her know there's there's something strange up here that xander and i are gonna go check it out excellent so as flynn uh comes up next beside you uh you get he gets a check in with you flynn anything else um no i don't think i got much else i can do so that's all i got delphina you hear in your head from the professor. What what professor? There's something strange in the room ahead. Xander and I are going to check it out. What do you do? Oh, uh, uh, do you um do you do you need me need me to help? I, I can come with you, or or do I go that way? Do you? Help is always appreciated. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Z Zalvana, I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go help them with something. I don't know what. And she's <laughs> going to go that way towards the professor and Flynn and all of them. The, the, like, the, OK, you got this. I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Love it. All right. So uh, and Delphina is off. Uh, the Berserker, I say what, in what seems like the last chance, is going to try to break the bonds. 
So he strains against the rope. This is just shameful. Uh, and with an 11, uh, he doesn't quite make the attack. Uh, yeah. What a shame. Yeah, what, what, what a shame. Uh, Fire. Golly. <laughs> All right. So, uh, with, so as he is still struggling, I, I, I contest that is probably the drow dagger that is currently in his throat. That is yeah. really awesome. Um, but yeah, so he, he again strains against the rope and just trying to break it. But sure enough, Fariel keeps a, a solid hand on that wheel. And she's just like, uh-uh. Uh, so that is back to the top of the order. Professor, you are up. I like to think that she's griping the whole way. Like, do you do you know the things I saw when I was in Flynn's head? Let me tell you what that you guy thinks. You understand the kind of day I've had. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> body experience. You can shut the hell right up. <laughs> Going in the hole. All right. That's the end of it. <laughs> all right, uh, Professor, you're up. Right. Okay. Let's get up here. Okay, I'm here, but I still can't see anything because I have no dark vision. So I'm going to dash carefully uh, past Xander. So I will say, even though you have no dark vision, uh, your torchlight does go out to like the 30 feet. And then, uh, it's twenty, I believe. I've got a. That's what the then, yellow. The yellow. Yeah, I've got a, is. a zone. Yeah, aura. Thank you. Zone. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yellow zone. Yellow Look zone. at my zone. Don't or eat the yellow zone. I see. Don't eat the yellow zone. <laughs> so, uh, in the actual chamber itself, you see this flickering blue light, and again, as I had described uh, to Xander earlier, this the smoke that seems to dance and then form to the shape of this woman who then has this horrifying feature of the ram's head coming out. And then as you look at it, go ahead and roll me roll me perception check. Oh, it's not what I wanted you to say. I know. And I debated on it, but... I don't suppose I can give seven. him advantage on that. What's that? I don't suppose I could give him advantage. No, I'm because too it's... far away. Because it's, it's his terrible human eyes and he's an old. Ah. Yeah. Uh, so with the seven, you said? Yeah. <clears throat> seven. All right, good. Uh, so with that seven, you see the shape of what looks to be like a, a, a humanoid form, but then like the head seems to alter in a strange way. And you're like, does it does it look almost like your zoom background? Um, mayhaps. <laughs> now that is personal. When right. he said the ram's horn and he went like this and basically traced the background, yeah, just, I was just like, "Boy, that was so back. good." Yeah. <laughs> Amy's on to my game. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So as so as you sort of look out, you see that it's a there's, there's there's a form in the smoke. It seems to be humanoid in shape, but something seems grotesque about it. Or to your eyes, it's probably beautiful, knowing just how the professor thinks. But uh, something's off about it. Sounds like something I'm gonna go get too close to. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm gonna touch. laughs> but my turn is done. Excellent. All right. With that, the professor moves in, and he too sort of starts to feel this this call, this pull. Lovana, you are up. Yeah. 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 You good. good. Sound. Um. So. I feel like I feel like I need to stay here with Fariel because like I think stuff just might get weird. So Listen, I'm Casey's. just gonna Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna solid plan. Yeah. Ah oh no. I was right here. I meant I hit the wrong thing. I just need okay. to see how far I can go. Which is right there. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Cool, get cool, right cool. Give a little kick on the back just, side. Yeah. Yeah. And um I'm just gonna have my rapier out at the ready in case stuff gets weird. It's like you, it's like you know me. I yeah. Really, <laughs> I love you more paying attention 13 episodes in. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just waiting for that to be a new, a new courtroom defense. It's like, oh, dude, your honor, I only headed out just in case things got weird. 
just in case things got weird. Uh, uh, all right, awesome. Mm-hmm. Anything else, Sylvana? Um, I don't think I have anything else. Uh, no. Well, I believe in you, no matter what. All right, Xander. Believe in you. <laughs> yes, Bard. Meow. Uh, well, you know, it's funny, DM. I've been kind of sitting here looking through my spells and my actions and things I might be able to do, and God, they, all my check boxes are just full, full of a check mark. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh my. you can't get out. Uh, I, 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 Burned up all your spell slots. All your spell slots. That's because the the DM who was last running this pushed this beyond the action economy, but you know that's fine. Um, says he's says he's a fr- my mic came back. There's a little trifling in it. Yeah, well, he says he's a friendly neighborhood DM, but that's certainly not true if you look at the action economy of the fights we've had. Um, Professor, uh, should I should I take a shot at it? No, 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 no. I, uh, I, I want to get a closer look. You, you, you remember what happened last time you took a closer look? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was then. I, I'm, I'm, I'm better now. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Lord God Almighty, I don't know what to do. Um. So party members, take a quick poll. Should we let the professor touch anything? <laughs> You know what? Yeah, not, do we not, even not, have to ask this question? Say, um, gee, keep your hands to yourself. Is this freezing? What have we learned, Professor? <laughs> you guys are stuffing a man in a hole. <laughs> and That's different. It's a man in a hole. Yeah, it's fine. But those are not stuffing a man in a baby. hole. Yeah. How, so DM, how, how close can we get uh, before being in danger? You said that there were icicles uh, hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Like, yeah. like in the 12 foot long range, which sounds. Oh, no, so the ceiling itself is 12 feet high. The icicles are suspended from that ceiling. So uh, the icicles themselves are anywhere between like three to four feet. So And so they start once we breach into the room itself. Mm-hmm. So uh, weirdly enough, where like the, so the, as the, as the fire is situated in this, like sort of the back wall of the room, where you would normally see like scorch marks or smoke, uh, like on the wall itself, there seems to be ice and this frosty rhyme, as if the fire isn't giving off flame, but cold. And so it looks to be almost like an effect of the flame itself. Mm, yeah, that damn cold fire. <laughs> cold fire. <laughs> um, I'm just, gonna uh, I'm gonna see just what happens because we're all just in, in bad, a bad way, and it's not gonna get any better unless we do something. I'm going to just at one of the icicles nearest us, or, or how, how how tightly packed are they? They're pretty like tightly it, packed, especially around the flame itself. So if I used a, if I used a firebolt, uh, the cantrip firebolt, could I hit like, like two or three and just see what happens to them? Yeah, yeah. Like I the, mean, yeah. it's normally a single target spell, but if they're packed that tightly and they have yeah, no would, dodge, I'm guessing. Like the tiniest little bit of scatter. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Well, then, then I'll do that. I'll um, I'll just I'll just chuck a, a firebolt, up Excellent. there. And and you're looking to hit, so you're looking to hit the icicles right above the flame. No, no, no. Just whatever kind of the the first rank of them that I can see okay. are going into the room. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, so roll to hit, and then uh, on a six, uh, roll a hit. Roll to hit on a stationary icicle that has no dodge. Okay. Hey, 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 hey baby. I'm roll one. Yeah. Every day it gets better. So. Uh, that is a fourteen. Fantastic. Roll the d four. Okay. You okay? You okay? Just you roll okay, it. baby. Three. Okay, cool. Uh, as you go ahead and pop off this firebolt, like it, it arcs into the ceiling. As it arcs into the ceiling, you see it seem to shatter three of them. And as they start to fall, almost immediately, the ice catches it. So as they drop, the, the ceiling freezes and grabs the ice again. And so where they had dropped, maybe, maybe six inches to a foot to the floor, 
the, the snow and ice coalesce to immediately then descend on it and snatch them up again. It's as if the top of the roof, it's like the entire room is just so cold. Fascinating. The, the icicles won't drop. The, does it, I don't know if there's a way to, um, a way for me to know this. Does, does it seem like it's it's a magical effect or does it seem like it's a an intelligent effect? Like, is it so cold and there's and there's magic and that just kind of refroze it, or does it seem like the ceiling maybe itself? Roll Arcana. Um, well, that's only an eight on the die, but a uh, thirteen. Okay, so with a thirteen, uh, it looks as if someone just sort of sped up the freezing process of water and snow so that it's just like frigid cold immediately in the breaking of the ice. Like it, it, you didn't see any sort of like, uh, similar to what happened when the berserker like like exploded and like got knocked back or the little flame dart, the only, that, the, that looks very similar to what's in the actual brazier itself. Mm. But what you saw on the ceiling looked like natural phenomenon, sped up. Hmm. Professor, I'm not sure we should go in there. That It seems unbelievably cold. Uh, and I will, with that, end my turn. Mm-hmm. Dig it. And with that, we get into the manhole. All right, so, <laughs> Fariel, what you doing? Okay. So you... I'm going to tell you what I want to do. You tell me if it's possible to do all of these things. Well, I love In this. the combination of action, bonus action, and all of movement and everything. With Zilvana near me, what I would like to do is take my rope, wrap it around myself real quick, and give her the other end before I try to drag this guy and throw him off the hole. Okay. So you're trying to tie yourself up. Yes, so that he doesn't take me with him into the hole, potentially, so that she would, like, have an anchor to me. Oh, that is 100% a great idea. Um... I'm gonna, I will allow that. So and then, and you still- I don't know have, if that's too many things. So you so tell me. You're try, so if you're trying to, so if, I will say that um, if, uh, if Zilvana gives you uh, like help with this action, uh, I will say that I will allow you to tie yourself off, hand the rope to her, and then uh, I'll let, uh, it'll take both your action, bonus action, and then I'll also say, well, I'll have it take, Silvana's bonus action as well on her turn. So Zilvana, you, you still have your action, but if you are working in concert, I will. I, I think this can totally work. I have no problem with that. All right. Really? So Let's you find yourself it. Up, boom, and then I mean yeah. He, so I just tie myself off, throw her the other end, and tell her hold on tight just in case. Excellent. I got you. And then I'm gonna try to drag this big boy in. It's gonna be the most like unglorious this is Sparta moment ever. <laughs> Joe just trying to like toss him into the hole instead of like an epic moment. <laughs> I love it. So like so are you trying to make this look cool? Or are we trying to make No, this look- I'm just trying to get this guy out of yeah. here. I love it. I love it. It's like okay. Bro, it's like trying to get that like last bag of groceries up on the counter and you're just like Rrr. Yeah. Oh, and I'm so- exhausted, yeah. honestly. Absolutely. Okay, great. So um yeah, give me a... So you, you obviously can drag him to the hole because it is literally just a hole in the floor. You don't have to lift him up or anything like that. Yeah. Shove him in. Um, so with that being said... And his uh, arms and legs are tied. Yes, his so arms... So hopefully I can just, like, so, burrito roll him off and yeah, he can't, uh, like, so grab if, on. If you get him up to the edge, I'm going to go ahead and have him roll one more time to see if he can break his bonds. And... All right. No, nope. even, even away his he turn. He rolled an eighteen, so he was not able to, uh, to to snap that rope. And so, as he gets up to the edge, sure enough, he and he just slides over the edge, and he and then you just hear him, oh, the world, the world, and then he's whew, like just tumbling down the ice shaft. Imagine it like echoing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Down. And if you listen, I would have definitely pulled my dagger out too. By the way, I did not I was throw him off with my dagger. <laughs> I was about to say, I hope you got your dagger back. <laughs> yeah, right. so I imagine that that was actually kind of the lever you used to sort of push him. Over. Yeah, just like get in the fucking hole. All right, so dig it. Awesome. 
So yeah, you uh, you wind up uh, shoving him off, and he has rolled. <laughs> I just look at Savannah like, okay, it's a weird pair, right? one problem down. Just need to, to break in real quick and say thank you to uh, the Gilded Troll for the raid. Thank you so much. Woo! Weird. Hey. Welcome! We're, we're stuffing berserkers in holes. Yeah. And that's Burrito the- berserkers. <laughs> yes. uh, Would you so- like some making fuck berserk? <laughs> <laughs> so, as this hogtied berserker goes tumbling down this ice chute, uh, yeah, you pull your dagger out and uh, it's like, huh, glad you tied that rope off. All right. Uh, and at that <laughs> moment, does he take fall damage from the hole? <laughs> he splats and then it just starts like healing just, back yeah, up. Yeah, just like just, just gooing back up like the like Terminator 2. Yeah. So do you uh, do you take a moment and like listen? I mean, yeah, I guess so. I'm yeah. listening to him like as you yeah, so as you hear it, like he just tumbles down and you hear the sort of <clears throat> as he hits the bottom, and the, there also seems to be a couple like snaps and pops as well. Like it's enough to make you both kind of go, but sure enough, like whis- think- whispering up the shoot is. Does it never end? <laughs> Hopefully, he's just far enough away we don't have to deal with this anymore. I guess let's go <sighs> catch up to everyone else. Yeah. yeah. Down the shaft too. All right. Uh, all right, Flynn, it's your turn, my good man. All right. Um. All right, so I'm going to look to Delphine. I'm like, all right, just uh, stay behind me. Make good use of that shield. Um, and I'm going to get up to... Oh, drop the, the goggles back down so I can see in the dark. Now that I have two human eyes again. Um, and I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> get up behind uh, Xander here. Okay. What what's, what's What's going on? What's happening? What are we looking at? And I, I shot some of those icicles with a firebolt, and they they immediately refroze. What they is dropped, that? As I they, look at they, the... <laughs> <laughs> they dropped maybe six inches. Oh, 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 that's just the professor. Don't worry. No, uh, not the, the thing with the fire. Oh, uh, yeah. He wants to touch it, and I... He, want, he wants to what? He wants to what? He, he wants to touch it. Don't touch it. Um, Can I see if that thing looks secure? Science. What's that? Um, Can I see if it looks secure? Are you talking about the brazier? Yes. The brazier itself is like a stone structure that comes up out of the floor. So it it, mm. it looks solid. So it's and not like some Ikea junk. It's it's like an actual built-in. Yeah, no, no. Uh, to be mm. truth, you wouldn't take it for granted. Yeah. <laughs> Hate you. All right. All right. Um... <laughs> He wants. He wants to touch it. He wants to touch it. Yeah, I, I warned him not to, and it's not back to his turn yet. <laughs> so, it's um, only been six seconds. <laughs> six seconds, where you saw the the flame almost it pulsed a little bit, and you saw a little moat of it seem to then return over the tops of your heads, back into the, the brazier, and pulse again. Interesting. That's weird. Um, okay. Um, well, since... Sir, please stop. <laughs> uh, since um, it looks like a solid piece of, like, of Stan, um, I am going to. I mean, you know, I'm I'm gonna shoot it, <laughs> and um, and put a psionic uh, strike behind it to see if I can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, my dog. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like the psychic energy of the wolf is like just pulsing with every bark. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, listen, the the razor is barking at us. <laughs> it means don't touch. <laughs> and starts like. So, sorry, sorry. We're, 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 um, all right. So, uh, shoot your shot. Oh, I mean, that never worked out in the past, so let's see what it does now. I, mean, I, I have an idea. <laughs> That's a 21. Nice. That 21 is pretty solid. Uh, go ahead and roll that damage. All right. So, that's um, the seven plus my psionic strike. 
is a two. So um, nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. All right. So you like, you like feeling all kinds of good after like your wormling kills and stuff like that. You bring up the crossbow, you center it, and you're centering it on the like the stone brazier itself, not the flame or anything like that. Like you're looking to hit. right. Okay. Oh, yeah. As you fire it into it, it just geez, just as wait. It, as it shoots into the brazier, it hits the brazier, and then suddenly, it like it ice just sort of grabs your your bolt like coalesces and spirals around it and then takes your bolt and just and your bolt shatters and is gone okay uh, the pr- professor i i am all one for learning as well but it just we turned the psychic energy into ice we can't go in here i mean Which means we could harness it. <laughs> <laughs> How, what what round are we on, DM? I'm I'm just trying to think about my blade singing and if I'm still singing or not. So your blade singing technically lasts for a minute. Yeah, ten rounds, and we decided we were three when we started. So are we more yeah, than seven rounds started. in? Uh, uh, we're going going six seconds around stuff like that. I think we I think we've hit up to seven. So you got about maybe three rounds left. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Yeah, right. Am I not? Am I not merciful? Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, all right. Flynn, anything else? Um, tell, uh, other than telling the professor that we gotta go the other way. That no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, let's just, just come on. Let's let's go back this way. You know, there's a whole other terrible death hallways in this <laughs> hell cave for us to go through. Delphina. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Delphina is concerned, but she is going to run to catch up with them, I think, since she can't see them around this corner right. here. Right. Wee. So I can go over here because my walking is 30. Is that 30 from where I was? It was pretty damn close. Okay. I'll bring my. Okay. Um. So, what is that? You um, can just see her sort of peeking around the corner. She's got her hands on the on the cave wall, and she's just like, <laughs> "What is what is that?" Magical ice. Well, ice fire. The new cologne from the Frost Maiden. It's so hot. It's cold. Do you see the figure in the smoke? Ice fire. Never lose your cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I I certainly did. Yes. Xander, Xander, there's a figure in the smoke. That's yeah, a, uh, a, a couple of different figures. We need to leave. Um. Yeah, I'm with you, but the battle music's still playing. <laughs> <laughs> Flynn, you just, just watch the hallway, music. Flynn. Uh, what 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 do I what do you want me to do? What do I do to help? Can you teleport us back to where we were? <laughs> um. Um, I don't, I don't think I learned that one yet. Okay. Just no. watch the hallway until Zalvana and, and Ferio will get back. Oh, oh okay. I, I, is anybody hurt? Cause, cause I can heal you. Physically we're fine. I'm not, I'm not too good with mental hurts, but I can try. <laughs> Emotionally. <You're great> people. <laughs> Devastated. You're just great at, you're great at hugs. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I can give hugs and you're all beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank, thank you, Delphina. But nice. And she will keep watch in the hallway <laughs> and wait for the others. All right, excellent. Uh, so, Berserker. <clears throat> Barry, are you still by that waist shoot? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. So you hear the unmistakable snap of rope. Oh, we finally broke out. <laughs> yep. Uh, How fast can you climb, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and then, sure enough, from is the that bottom, is that big dragon still outside? Remember, there were two dragons. I used the preface. 
were two dragons. <laughs> I thought there was I a think... giant dragon. I Did thought we, we killed a dome them. dragon. Hmm? Yeah, right. there was there was a big dragon outside that ate all the axe beaks. Yeah. What was that? We never I don't think we ever saw it. Oh, where is it? Here. You, wonder, you wonder you wonder why down. why I, I trifle with you? <laughs> that right there. If somebody oh, no. please clip that, <laughs> just Ryan's <laughs> trifling ass face. That Ryan, <laughs> that Ryan is <laughs> why I give it to you every That's second. That's you should have got made for you. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, awesome. Yeah, you just wait so, till the break. Change so, my shirt. <laughs> so as you hear the unmistakable sound of a snap of rope uh, in the at the bottom of the chute, and then this. <laughs> 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 As he starts to make his ascent back up the chute. All right, Professor, you're up. Uh, all right, I want to slowly move up. I I I, I won't touch anything. I promise. I just I just want to get a closer look. Um, and I will gingerly step forward just to see, like, if I can feel a temperature difference or anything like that. Sure. And I'll just move, like, half speed, real gentle. Yeah. Um, I want to see if I can get, if I can figure out what's going on with this brazier, if I can investigate it any closer and figure yeah. out what its purpose is. No, absolutely. So as you as you get closer and closer to it, like it, the, the room doesn't seem any colder. Uh, not any colder than, I mean, it, look, it's, it's Icewind Dale, everybody. So yeah. like, cold is cold. You are just constant, it is biting. Um, but it doesn't like, you don't, you don't like reach out your hand and all of a sudden it like your glove ice is over and you're just like, oh my God, well actually, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said hand. You reach out your nub. And <laughs> I have one good one. <laughs> That's right. Um, and but yeah, so the room itself doesn't seem any colder than the rest of the cavern around you, but it, the, the flame itself. You know how smoke. So fire seems to have this sort of dance that goes up. Yeah. It's constantly ascending. Uh, this seems to almost be working in reverse. It's like a, it's, a, it's as if it's pulling itself down constantly, as if it's not giving off heat but giving off cold. It's constantly like pulling into itself. Okay. Is there anything else I can ascertain about the, the nature of this thing? Hmm. Go ahead and uh, do, do you want to do you want you want to like try to Arcana or investigation? Hmm. Uh, give me Arcana. Ooh, natural 19 for a total of 24. Nice. Okay. With the 24, you notice that there's a powerful aura of abjuration magic around it. Uh, okay. And, uh, from here, this is like then it, this, this stone brazier rises up out of the floor. Um, looking at it and the, the, the from the boat that you just saw get destroyed by it it can't be moved and it can't be damaged and then kind of looking at the way in which that it is working in reverse it's the opposite of fire so the ways in which fire would normally be dealt with probably won't work on this understood What do you think, Professor? It's... I want to touch it. <laughs> I don't I mean, think it's, you it's, touch it's, it. It's clearly, it's clearly magical. Um, it is... It is the, an, it, the, antithesis, the antithesis of fire. It is, uh, it, is, it is drawing energy to it rather than radiating energy. Uh, and uh, there might be a way to extinguish it, just like just like fire is extinguished when you when, when you when you smother it or, or when you douse it with water. There, there's 
how would we how would we extinguish the antithesis of fire? By, I mean, by heating it, but it, you saw what it did to my firebolt. Well, you hit the you hit the ice above it. True, true. I could I could give that a uh, I, could, I could give it a shot with firebolt. I have my produce flame cantrip. Let me. Mm. I, I yeah. want to I want to toss a little little produce flame into uh, this brazier. See what happens. Yeah, no. Do you need an attack roll on that? Yeah, yeah, get jazzy with it. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Not great. A uh, total of eight. Well, okay, yeah, it's it's stationary, so it's not gonna. Yeah, you don't need to you don't need to wow me. But yeah, so uh, you throw, <laughs> produce flame, uh, and you, you throw it right at the brazier itself. Yeah, just right in right into that that cold flame. Yeah, and it, it's so as you. So normally when you do produce flame, what do you see? Uh, it's a just a little fireball. Mm -hmm. Then it just you, I can hold on to it or I can just toss it at stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But, so as, as you as you sort of like create this orb of flame and you top you chuck it towards this brazier, it starts to go towards it. And as it starts to go towards it, like a sheet of ice seems to almost form around it. And as it lands in the brazier, it then just shatters. And then for a, a briefest of moments, you see the unmistakable snowflake symbol of the Frost King. She's here. Who, who's, here. who's here? He, here, here? Or this is just of her influence? Uh, or like I mean, I don't know if she is physically present, but her her influence is here. All right. With that, we'll go to Zilvana. Ah, oh, crap. All right. So. But you heard the snap of the rope going, and then you hear this from the chute as something is starting to climb back up the chute. And sure enough, trailing up that damn uh, waist is just... All the worlds in winter's white, bathed in sheets and ice. It's like, um, uh, so, <laughs> so what I what I want to do is something a little um intense, but it would require Fairy All not being there. So. Yeah, <laughs> I need. Well, so um, what I want to do is have everybody get out of like this little hole area here. Uh -huh. And I have like one spell slot left for a thunder wave. And I just wanted to like cast it and just have it be just caved in so that maybe he gets stuck. So just oh. hold, hold your action until I move. Yes. OK. And you okay. can do it. So. All right. So yeah, holding your action allows. Oh, yes, buddy. Savannah has spent her action already. It was her bonus action. He only made her use her bonus. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, held actions work like this. So you simply declare what you want to do, and then uh, give it, and then you give me what you consider the trigger to be. So you say that, like, oh, I, uh, and I do this when somebody opens the door, or I do this once Fariel gets past me, or okay, and then as a free action. You can say to her, like, get the hell behind me. I'm going to seal this son of a bitch in there, or however you yeah. want. Yeah. And then once she clears, your held action will then go off. Whether okay. It's now, if the queue never comes or if she never gets past you, then that action economy is wasted and you're sad. So, and it's sad only your action, though, not your movement. So you won't be able to move afterwards. So if you want to move, you need to do that ahead of time. Yeah. Got it. And All if right. the trigger doesn't come, it still wastes the spell slot, unfortunately. Yes, good point. Absolutely. Yeah. So if this is your last one, just consider that. Well, oh, I'm getting the hell out. Yeah, so. Perio just needs to cool. move. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. Um, here, yeah. So, if I'm gonna move, um, I'm gonna say to Fariel, like, I'm, I'm gonna move back 15 feet. I need you to 
I need you to get behind me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, great. And then you're holding your action until she clears. Like it's Okay, I love it. Excellent. So, uh, so Zelvana holds this energy, and then as she does this, you see her start to sort of pull from the weave, and she draws down the thunder wave. Uh, thunder. And then... All right. Uh, okay, fine. Xander. <laughs> um, I mean, so I, I witnessed the the professor and the the produced flame and how yes. how nothing we saw him sort of start to walk into the room and nothing horrendous seemed to happen to him. And then, sure enough, he he th- gathers up his little moat of flame, tosses it in, and all of you, uh, Xander, Flynn, Professor, saw. The, the symbol of the frost maiden, and then Delphina, you, uh, you saw it, but as you asked, what was that? Uh, you don't recognize it just yet. So, uh, well, Flynn, you're this. You this is in good hands here with you and the professor. Um, and I'm gonna move up to here to have a look at what's going on here because there's not there's absolutely nothing <laughs> I can do down there. I have some level one spells, right. and almost all of them are defensive. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, unless I can go in there and just start hacking away at the unbreakable um, brazier, brazier. <laughs> <laughs> the unbreakable brazier? <laughs> Giles! <laughs> uh, so I'm going to pull up to here. By this, Is this a little bridge over a, a chasm? Yes, it is a bridge over a chasm. How deep is the is the chasm? Uh, let's see, the chasm itself. I love that we keep saying chasm. Uh, <laughs> so it's a ten foot deep. Sorry, uh, in inscriptions calls it a fissure, but I like a fissi- chasm. A fissure. Uh, it's like like a fissure, but like you know, not quite there yet. It's the first level of a fissure. Um, so yeah, it's about ten feet deep, uh, and then this plank spans the gap. Uh, this seems to be a little more of a traffic tunnel. Okay. Uh, and as you, with all of your uh, wondrous sight-given sight, you note that there are a bunch of sleep sacks in this room. Four, to be exact. Hmm. But it's only, the, the fissure is only 10 feet deep. That fissure is only ten feet deep. Oh. Um. What? What? Five, ten, fifteen. I think I had spent about twenty feet of movement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna come back to here and say uh, there there seem to be four empty sleeping bags up here. Um. I don't know if it's a place where we could get a rest, but it's at, it's at least possible. But it, it seems semi clear for the moment up here. Excellent. And that's uh, unfortunately all I got. No worries. Fariel. Okay. I'm just gonna hightail it out of here, basically. Excellent. So, so you clear? I'm gonna use my movement and my bonus action dash to get me 60 feet, so to here. Love that. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> Zavanna. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm splitting the difference. I could go 90. I'm not, I'm trying to, Please I'm assuming it's her turn, she can catch up. I'm trying not to leave her. Totally. Um, and then I just want to call out ahead and um, just say, the big guy's trying to climb out of the hole. He's not d- gone. <laughs> I love it. It's so okay. Should. It's really shitty up here too. And that's that's gonna be it for me. I'm just gonna get get the hell out. Awesome. And, uh, and at this moment, Zovana, your thunder wave goes off. Uh, so this wave of thunderous force sweeps out, uh, and then what you uh, what you wind up doing actually is you catch the corpse of this wormling from uh, in within the thunder wave and you wind up like shooting it into the hole as it uh, <laughs> yeah. so uh, 
So <laughs> stopping it up just a little bit more. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's like yeah, this ain't no flushable wipe. So uh, <laughs> this, thing, this thing like hits the chute, starts to go down. Boom! Goes. Uh, go ahead and roll the uh, the hit for the thunder wave. Does the worm <laughs> knock into the guy on its way down the hole? <laughs> <laughs> Lawful okay. stupid RPG. Okay. This okay. ain't no flushable wipe. <laughs> uh, Audible quotes. 14. 2d8s. Okay, great. Uh, so uh, I need some. This 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 derpity derp needs to make a constitution saving throw to see if he actually gets knocked back. He's con. Okay. What do I have to beat here? Uh, oh. I'm not telling you. Uh, you have to beat a fifth. You have to beat a 15. Uh, well, he came in clutch with a critical uh, constitution saving throw. So, like, as this thunder wave hits, he's, like, braced into the side of the wall as, like, all the snow is coming down on him. Does he have this advantage because the worm hit him in the face? And then the worm lane comes across. <laughs> <and it's, laughs> uh, so as the worm lane hits him, he, yeah, then he rolls an 11. So it, <laughs> it takes him, and it just, like, it, it's... It's kind of like he's the he's the he's the bullet and the the wormling is the primer behind him. So as <laughs> he hits him, he gets shotgunned out the bottom of the chute, and you hear this like <laughs> and like anyone like watching just kind of sees this tumbling like blue gray mass like rolling down this ravine, sort of being mildly chased by like a red pulpy wormling gut. Um, I appreciate that you changed the analogy to a gun analogy from a toilet analogy because that could have gone a whole different direction. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, that goes sideways quick. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, in a real shit scenario. All right. So uh, as so as that clears, like you see, like it, the the tunnel is absolutely just gone. It's co- covered over with thunder wave, uh, and it, you don't seem to hear the sound coming from the chute anymore. Well, even if he did, it would have to take forever to actually dig his way out of there. So thank goodness. Yeah. Flynn. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm going to walk up next to the professor. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Who's watching the tunnel? D- Delphina's watching the tunnel. All right. Professor, what are you, what are you looking at? What, what, do you, what do you see here? It's, uh, it's like anti-fire like anti-fire anti-fire okay so um so it freezes instead of burns um i don't know if we can actually damage it all right all right all right um who's got the bottle of whiskey (laughs) I think I have it. I don't know. I, I think I have the whiskey. Can you throw it to me? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring it to you next turn. Yeah. I've got, I've got some Durgar ale, but that's the closest thing. Like, can the, yeah. Well, what's the, what's the alcohol content of the ale? Uh, I haven't tested it yet. I mean, it's Durgar Ale. It's pretty much like motor oil. It's good for two things, killing brain cells and decreasing engines. But... Right. Okay. So if it, if an alcohol would burn in a fire, would it not smother out a cold fire? I'm open to, to any possibility at this point. Well, I'll do it. And you can tell them all it's my idea. I'll take the thing in. It's in my, ba- <laughs> it's in my bag. Yeah. Dig it. If it goes south, you can just blame it on me. And then I'll and pour it in there and see what happens. Wait, so are you, like, are, you, are you getting close enough to just like pour it into it or are you like tossing it into it? Um, if if it if I if I walk into this room, do I do I start freezing like No. So as so the professor then... just inside the room a little bit and he's seems to be fine. So walking in um, the room doesn't seem Yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if I die um, tell Delphina to send my shield back to uh, Dagorn, and he'll he'll know what to do with it. Um, so it. he takes out a notebook and says, <laughs> "Send notebook to Dagorn." Got it. 
Like not even. It's like, hang on, let me take notes on your final wishes. All right, yep. good. All right. So, uh, so, Flynn walks up and tries to pour. Just pours it out. Yeah, just pour it out. I'm gonna pour it out. All right, uh, Rodney, make me a dexterity saving throw. I was built for this. 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 I've thrown away this. Shot. Ten. A ten? <laughs> yep. A ten? The seven. It was a seven on the die. All right, well. One sec. Yeah, Thought you were a dex build. I could take a hit. I could, I could right, take a hit. So, uh, as, so as you go ahead and, and pour this liquid out, the fire seems to go up into the bottle itself. And as it goes up into the bottle itself, it, again... It's like swirls around it, ices the bottle, shatters it, and as it shatters it, you go to draw your hand back, and a shard of it just shoot, sinks into your hand. You take nine cold damage from this one shard in your hand as you immediately flick it out, and it just seems to shatter as your blood then like crystallizes in the air and just like tinkles across the floor. Little tiny ice cube. Metal as hell, okay. It did not seem to have any effect on the flame. I've got a different stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Fariel, Fariel, he's got another idea. I leave him alone for two seconds. All right. <laughs> this idea going to take another action? Um, Depends. Does inhaling count as an action? <laughs> oh, I love you. Uh, that's great. Uh, I mean, legally, I don't think so. But... <laughs> oh, so yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, no. Breathing's a, a free action, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, he 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 is he is stupid enough to try. Okay. Um, if you blow out a fire, it'll go out. So if you breathe in an ice fire, I don't know what's gonna happen. So oh I'm, no! So God, why are you with the professor? You're right. as bad as the professor. I'm so uh. glad I'm not there. To... So Delphi, you're a healer then. <laughs> we, you know, we normally yeah. stay pretty, pretty healthy, but it's it, it'd be good, I think, to have a healer with us. <laughs> Meanwhile, down the way, <laughs> like, almost got it. Like, breathing, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you're not> <laughs> like, but in it's nonstop singing, yo. It's like... <laughs> All right, um, all right, Flynn, roll me another deck save. <laughs> this is for science. For science. <laughs> Beautiful. Did it best. go? Did it go? It didn't go. I didn't see it. No, I don't know if I want to see it. Okay, a 14. Okay, like, as you immediately start to, like, because the flame is pulling down into itself, you're, as you try to draw it away from the flame, your air seems to have almost no effect to it. It's, again, the fire doesn't seem to draw up and out of itself and have smoke that goes out. So drawing it in doesn't seem to have any effect. But as you go to try to pull it back in, nothing seems to actually uh, be affecting you at that moment. And again, the fire is unaffected. Compels me though. I, I can... <laughs> interesting reaction. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> uh, Delphina, you're up. Boy. You look at the Zoom chat, DM. I oh got, boy. Um, I got... do you do you, do you want me to attack the, the the fire? Will that make it stop hurting everybody? Uh, I don't know that we know what we. Do you have dispel magic? I can detect magic. I can do that too. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's magic. Uh, I mean, that's I a pretty we, good guess. I, I My guess is we're going to have to dispel it and yeah. any kind of physical stuff is not going to do much to it. Um, I can, I can, I can protect us from evil and good. That might come in handy. I would say hang on to that. Okay. Um, does, does anybody need healing? You know, I every I, turn I, of Delphi, she's just like, I, does I, anybody I, need healing? I think about my own hit points, and then I look at the two of them down in the killing field room, 
and I say, you know what? It's probably going to be a bigger deal here in a few minutes. Um, <laughs> I, oh no. I might hang on to that too. I mean, oh do no. I see Flynn like? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, only have two spell slots left, guys. So come on, don't get yourselves killed. <laughs> definitely hear like the the shatter of the glass and then you hear Flynn say like that was metal as hell and then you're like oh no it's <laughs> 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 the fact because if there's no screaming they're more concerned yeah, right. <laughs> oh absolutely <laughs> like the professor and Flynn are down the <laughs> all right awesome sauce uh, Delphina anything uh anything? <laughs> she's just gonna stand there just like she's, she's holding her shield up and her in her arm, and she's just kind of twisting her hair, like, I don't know what to do. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so, um, it's at this moment, Fariel, that you hear, roll me a perception check real quick. Actually, uh, Amy, what's your, what's your passive? Passive perception's 14. Yeah, you good, you good. Uh, so, as you, Look out the entrance. You see three forms coming into the cavern. As they stand before you at the entrance of the bear cave. Shit. They look at you with their cold blue eyes. Having seen their brother get shotgunned out of the chute, the hunting party has returned from the tundra outside. And as they look at you, you hear ringing throughout the cave. Oh, these motherfuckers. All the world in winter's white. I'm gonna pull a flame and be like, yeah, 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 we know, we know. <laughs> and that <laughs> is where we're gonna go ahead and take our break. <laughs> Professor, top of the order, you're up. Oh, good. I love being first. So... That being said, Professor. Yeah. Secret secrets. Oh, good. Oh, oh, good. Everybody get out of my Zoom call. Bounce. All right. All right. So as you start to like, you hear the whispers of the berserkers, but then suddenly something lightens in your mind and you hear this voice that says, Brace yourself. He is going to attempt to reach out to you. Gather your party to you. You can survive this. Who is this? A friend. Uh, so, uh, Professor, uh, as the turn comes back round to you, what do you do? I'm gonna say, uh, f follow me, Flynn. We need to. We need to get everyone together. Oh, you want to run? This is serious. <laughs> uh, uh, are we running? No. Um. Oh, oh, good. We're running and we're not. One might almost consider this confusing. <laughs> We're, we're fast walking like old people in the mall. Oh yeah, okay. no, straight up. Like, so I will dash to right about there. And, oh uh, wait, no, uh, forget that. I'm not gonna dash, but I am gonna get to this, uh, to this thing. Okay. And then I'll use thaumaturgy to amplify my voice and yell to the rest of the party like Zavana, Fariel everyone come toward me I'm watching Zavana check her distance so yep. uh, anything else professor uh no that's it brilliant. uh brilliant uh, everybody everybody group up just uh are the spiritual weapon and my blade song done at by now or are they still going you said they're, they're done. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. at this point they are done. Okay. So, uh, to update my AC. Uh, the feather, feather goes away, and uh, 
and flights of feathers sing thee to thy rest. And uh, Zolvana, it is your turn. So you hear, so. The, you hear the professor's voice echo throughout the cavern. Uh, like, and he says, everyone this way, gather to me. Oh good, I was headed that way anyway. Um, all right, so I'm gonna, I can, I can use my movement and dash, yeah? Absolutely, and a dash allows you to effectively double your movement. So your base speed is 30, it allow you, it would allow you to actually then go 60 feet. Cool. Well, dash should put me right here. Dash it all, love that. Okay, great. So she, so Zavanna listen <laughs> right quick. I'm all up in your grill, Professor. <laughs> Good. Hi. Excellent. All right then, and anything yeah. else on Zavanna? I'm, I'm done, I got okay. nothing. All right then, uh, we'll have this Berserker. He'll be Berserker Red. Uh, he'll be going next. He is going to roll. All right, let's see, let's see how he does on this. Okay, so he stands there at the entrance, and as he sees you fleeing, he just sort of watches you with his eyes. A smile. And he just... Ah, ah, and you see, like, the air, like, just cold and constant, like, burst out from his chest as he's just thumping there, standing there like a madman, starting to foam at the mouth a little bit. Um, up next... Oh is I've got some reason I've got Delphina at a nine, which like I'm not mad at, but also I'm curious how I did that. So um, we'll say why not. Uh, Delphina, you're next. Oh, I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, right? Cool. Um, um, uh, uh, Delphina, what do I do? You're muted. <laughs> you need healing to unmute. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's, uh, there's nothing really to do. Let's just stand by the professor and see what comes up. See what comes next. No, we should definitely still defend ourselves. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just well, to be crystal. <laughs> I mean, she, it's all the way over there. I mean, okay, okay. So just stay just, here. Okay, she'll hold her shield up. <laughs> Okay, um, I can heal people if they need it. God, I love this like last stand vibe I'm getting with everyone's kind of like. Ryan. Uh, all right, <laughs> Sander. <laughs> <clears throat> Professor, are we staying here? Are we moving further in? Uh, just whatever we do, do it together. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey. I'll I'll come down to to here, hoping it that doesn't mean a f within five feet of him. Watch uh, these berserkers have fireball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clump together, everyone. It'll be great. Mm. Uh, and I will there stand there uh, with you know rapier drawn. Um, still trying to look as though I'm blade singing, but. Not really in the least, knowing myself that that spell has worn off. <laughs> I love this image of you just kind of sitting there and like singing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, roll, roll like humming, humming the Final <laughs> Fantasy music out loud, just really softly. <laughs> uh, and I, that's what I got, unfortunately. All right, dig it. Oh man, she's measuring up to go attack. Ariel. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look at those berserkers that just came in mm -hmm. and do my best imitation of them with the like. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> just try to be intimidating back. Roll, roll me an intimidation um, roll. Just, roll me an just for fun, because I oh, yeah, just just because I want it. I've been in my head too long. That is a, a seven <laughs> plus three, so ten. <laughs> okay. Average. With, it, with it average, average uh, berserkers being berserkers, they like they they kind of see this, and like one of them is a little bit like. 
<laughs> like it actually gets a little like it gets a bit of a rise out of it. The other two are just like the 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 one the, the red one that was eyeballing Zalvana as it ran. He still is just kind of looking down the hallway right at her, for kind of like just with a little bit of spittle coming down his mouth. And then the one in the back Thank is you. just stone cold, like dead eyed. So then I'm going to cast fairy fire at them. Amen. I can do that because I'm yeah. a rogue. Because I got this. Yeah. Um. So that's uh, Dex saves. Excellent. What Colin. is the uh, the DC? Is a whopping thirteen. All right. All right. Let's let's get crack a lacking on them Dex saves then. Uh, all right. First one. It's all a front. I'm just trying to make it look like we mean business. Yeah. It's like hey, you. I'm, I'm gonna back. run, but. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> we got a nineteen, a nine, and a twenty. So, okay, so one of them was affected. Yeah, right. One of them was effective. So I will say uh, that Mr. Green, the one who was laughing, Mr. Green, uh, he's going to go and be fairy fired. So we'll have that be just a little poofy icon. All right. So mm, Okay. And then I'm going to use my movement to join the rest of the party. <laughs> dig it. Dig it. Just for my own kicks and giggles. Uh, tell me the effects of fairy fire. Um, so that just basically lights them up in like a glow. Yeah. And um, you, you, if they you, lose you their kick, save. Do you pick a particular color or in, or like a, a shimmer that happens to them? Yeah, or? so it's basically just like a silvery shimmer nice. from, from nice. Fariel. Okay. Um, like technically, it. according to the spell, it can't be that color, but who cares? Um, <laughs> it's like silvery white light. Yeah, no, I love it. I'm here um, for it. And then um, the guy that failed his save Mm -hmm. we have advantage uh attack rolls against him have advantage brilliant i love that he will shed dim light in a 10 foot radius around himself i love it so he can't go invisible i think either yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. all right brilliant and last but certainly never least flynn all right um i am going to dash and put myself probably uh Next to Feriel, because I think it's gonna be, I mean, it'll be sixty to get. I want to be. I want to be between the party and the berserkers, essentially, as much as I can. I like it. Okay. Okay. I like push down on Xander's head and like bolt over him and then slide between um, Zavanna and, and Feriel. Feriel just says to like. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, <clears throat> when you do that, I'm going to real quiet say, did I see you smoking that shit? <laughs> Late, later. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Awesome. Uh, and then Berserker is going to go ahead and roll his Ds. All right. Dig it. So uh, this one decides to actually do something. So he... Uh, so he sees you kind of moving up into position and he's going to go ahead and... Uh, make uh, oh interesting there it is okay cool uh, <laughs> sorry I was, just, I, was, I was like that doesn't make any sense that makes sense okay so he's gonna go ahead and so you, you see him take what appears to be like a, a it's an icicle like it, for all intents and purposes it looks like just a okay okay but, but if it kills me will it bring me back as a white walker is this I what? Mean, you know, <laughs> oh my god you guys they're back they're in our house <laughs> it's like ew oh, I lost uh, the, not the white claw ew. walkers again right. those are, those guys are, don't die does a 13 hit you flynn <gasps> it does not yeah no it certainly doesn't so you see him like he's so it's the it's the green one who's laughing he's just like <laughs> And he shucks this thing and it like hits the wall behind you, hits it, shatters, and just sort of like then like rains down in little icy shards on you. So his aim's not great, but uh, um, and with that, uh, Professor, it is your turn. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I'm just going to. <sighs> I mean, I'm just going to hold a mind sliver in case anyone uh, approaches. I'll try to move a little bit to get a better a better line of sight. Mm-hmm. Can I see anybody? Nope, don't do that. <laughs> Where's my measuring tool? 60 feet. 
What is my range? I don't think it's that far. No, it is 60 feet. That's fine. All right, I'll mine sliver green then. Why not? Nice. Okay, so uh, with that, green has to roll an intelligence, I believe. Intelligence save. Lovely. Correct. He rolls a, a two. Excellent. Hmm. Lovely. Good. <laughs> Takes Good one job. one point of psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he remembers d- disappointment. I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, all right. So, <laughs> so green takes one point of uh, of damage. Right. Also, also minus a d4 on his next saving throw. Dig it, dig it. Okay. I would say it all adds up, but with these guys, I feel like it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? Caught between a rock and a berserker. Um, I just like to imagine that at some point the magic on the other guy, I mean, had he not been shotgunned out of the toilet, it would all it would wear off and he would catch all of that extra damage we did all at once. Like he's just walking in the street and he's like, and just as all the fucking damage catches up to him. A, I'll tell you all a secret when we get into a break. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Awesome sauce. Uh, Professor, anything else? I believe that'll be it. Excellent. Uh, at this point, and I just gonna it's like, hey, I'll I'll yell out, and I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't know who's out there, but if you're gonna do something, now's the time. All right, Zavana, we're, we're we're all right here, Professor. Yeah, uh, either helps on the way or we're screwed. So, I like those odds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> All right. I'll... Now, Professor, well, you, you didn't wrong, touch anything, wrong. did you? No, that was Flynn. I touched it. <laughs> oh, God. Silvana, oh, but... secrets, secrets. <laughs> Me? I never get a secret secret. This is so exciting. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, uh, as, as you hear the professor go, uh, if anyone's going to do anything... Here, here, now's the time. And then all of a sudden, in your mind, you say, would you please stand back from the rear of the room? Uh, you are indeed Zovana Onrun, correct? Yes, The yes, I am. author of uh, A Little Damning, uh, I believe. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, my benefactor wishes to have a word with you. Uh, one moment, and you suddenly see behind you this portal seems to just open up as there is suddenly a doorway behind you. Ah. What the hell is that? Hey guys, um, so... Uh, I might get a little in a little trouble if we go through that door, but I think there's a portal behind us, and I think we should hop through it. More All trouble, kind of trouble. More trouble than is in front of us. No, not fighting wise. Just you okay, know. Okay, then let's go. We talked yeah. pretty good. Zolvana, just blame it on me. Say it was my idea. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, at and so uh, Zolvana, it is your turn. Still, you still have your action. You still have your movement. Uh, what do you do? All right, um, everyone, get through the portal. I am going to I, I try and shoot some stuff while you guys are going through the portal. Last time I went through a portal, I lost an arm. Just go through with your whole body and go through with a buddy. Last Find time a you went through the portal, you ended with, up here. With, with me? <laughs> Just, guys, focus. <laughs> I mean, Sandra kind of is the professor's buddy, too. I mean, right? Well, I mean, when you're right, you're right. So I was the only one who would feed him when he was tied up. Oh, <laughs> okay. And do remember? I that. mean, he was sketch AF. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <let's be honest. laughs> was. Uh, so, um, DM, are we going through on her turn, or is this going to be? So you out? get you get to make your call on your turn. At this point, the both red and blue berserkers move up. They are taking their turn to dash and to move up. These fuckers. Uh, yeah. As they uh, as they get into uh, attack range, but that's that's their full action and bonus. So they're uh, but they're <sighs> and so they're running straight at you, Delphina. Yeah. It is your turn. Wait, I didn't I didn't 
I I'm, oh. didn't shoot them with the bow. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you, you're right. You do have your action, your bonus action. But remember, you, like to go through a portal is like you're gonna have to. Well, you, you can still use your movement to do that. So yeah. Um. So I still I still want to shoot some some stuff. So right. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot this this blue guy right here since he's in front of me. Right. And actually, no. I'm gonna shoot the red one because I don't want to hit Flynn. I mean, unless you roll terrible, you you like I assume you can all shoot around people, but that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do I'll do the red one. Uh, does a fifteen hit? A fifteen does hit. Roll that beautiful damage. Cool, 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 cool. One d six plus four. Got a nine. Nice. Okay. Great. Is that great. the one that got mind slivered earlier? No, green was the one who got oh, mine. Damn, I was gonna say he's right. up to he's up to ten, but he's <laughs> and I I'm it. I'm I'm also gonna go through the damn portal. All right, <laughs> follow me, everyone. Yes, Zoop. <laughs> she's like, ah! <laughs> 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 bye. <laughs> uh, Delfina is going to immediately go after Zalvana. Wait. All right. <laughs> All right, awesome. So Delfina is through the portal. Uh, Zalvana is through the portal. Lovely. And Xander? Are we sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we going anyway? We have no yes. other option. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to look at Flynn and Fariel. Don't, don't take too long. We'll hold the line. Go. And then I will go to the portal. All right, excellent. Very helpful. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we'll hold the line. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't. Well, I don't want to leave Flynn. Like, nope. Fine. Go. 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 <laughs> Just attack and run away. <laughs> I mean, if you can stun Blue so that he doesn't have an AO on Flynn. Yeah, because I have lots of stuns. I'm just, just saying. Just get if. out of here. I'll <laughs> take care of it. <laughs> I'm just trying to be helpful. I'm at a this portal my... and I don't know where I'm at. Famous <laughs> last words. <laughs> I'm going to look at Flynn. I'm going to be like, you're right behind me, yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's go. And I'm just going to run for the portal. Let's go. Um, can I, The professor is right next to the portal. Yeah. Can I just grab him and like jerk him? You you haven't used your action yet, so you absolutely can grapple him and sort of like tackle him into it. Uh, yeah, I just want to. Are you going to resist that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. That, cause, well, because my thought process is if I can get you, then Flynn can come because he won't be holding the line for you. You know, yeah. so Fariel's like, come on, scrawny professor, let's go. Yeah. Professor definitely would be the one that like would get left behind and be like, hmm, interesting. Yeah. Wait, let me draw them. Yeah. Seems to be an arcane object. I'm not I'm ready to go yet. It's on the other side. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to yank the professor through with me. Excellent. Uh uh go ahead and roll me so for a grapple check against a, an unwilling target, uh you have to do what's uh, athletics. Yeah. No, let me be clear. I am I am willing. So, oh, okay. I won't, yeah, I, I won't resist. Okay, uh, then, yeah, then just give me a. Re so, as like you, so I imagine, Amy, that you like Fairy Owl runs and then she kind of like pivots herself off of this wall. And then as she like balls up, as she kind of jumps onto it and then pushes off and then just like air tackles the professor into the portal. Yeah. And like, We're going. And he's like, yeah. Wait. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah. And it's at that point that it is Flynn left to hold the line. Um, I just want to say, uh, as far as the side warrior is built, it's straight up shenanigans that I can't use this telekinetic movement on myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wait till how was it like, what whatever the next tier of the abilities I get, I think I can do the moves. But all right, yeah, well, we're gonna. Yeah, I was gonna try to like tell like telekinetic wait a jump. Minute, wait a also, <laughs> so you, you're trying to so you're trying to telekinesis. So because the idea is that you like you you push out on things away from yourself, right? Well, no, I no, I can um, I can move something thirty feet is yeah. with the telekinetic movement. Yeah, I got but you. it says I can't target myself. 
Gotcha. What's that? Yeah. Because obviously the, then people would just be like, all right, well, I'm going to Magneto my ass. Like, whoom, and then all of a sudden you're just like flying around all the time. Opportunity attacks, what? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Though if you want to do a little like charge, well, or you do like your your telekinetic force on you. So you're like, boom, 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 and it blasts you back. Like, I won't say no to that because that's a fun visual. <laughs> As long just, as you won't just, take just, more, just, as long just in the air. Just put that it. in your brain bank for later, baby. <laughs> don't give yourself more than 21 points of damage, though. Exactly. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bonus action to recover um, my cyanic die because I'm going to need it in a second. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to turn and I'm going to run towards the portal. All right. All right. As you do that, uh, yep. Blue is going to go ahead and make an attack on you. This is where they find out that they have Sentinel. Yeah, yeah. right. Oh, <laughs> crit failed. He crit. Failed. Oh, oh, oh. that one on that bad boy. Chinese yeah, <laughs> gods are with us. That's when. That's that's when like. That's when Rodney like rolls back. He's like, I was made for this. <laughs> I, I told you I was built for speed. <laughs> and guess what? Nobody saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Did, you, Guys, oh. no, no, I no, no, Flynn, no, the best stuff is when no one is watching, right? Absolutely. So it's like a backflip, he's like jumping off the walls and everything else, and then he's gonna go to the floor. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure he has the DD equivalent of a GoPro. Oh man, this is always watching his moves. <laughs> no, so it's like a back handspring with like a 360 spin in the air, like two fingers out, just like later, and then he's like, <laughs> and then he's, so, and it's at that point that you are out of the Cave of the Berserkers. I keep wanting to call it the Cave of Wonders. Same, same here. <laughs> the Cave of Berserker Wonders. I feel more like cave of, nice cave of Blunders feels a little more appropriate, but Correct. both of you all. Yeah. Uh, no one died. Fair. No one died. True, true. Uh, we shotgunned a Berserker oh, down a toilet. Gosh, this is so much better already. <laughs> oh my oh, God. Come on, this is, there's that. There is that. All right, so go ahead and just... drop yourselves <laughs> onto that delightful little summoning circle. Uh, oh, do we have mind. to? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the game, y'all. <laughs> when the choices are bad and worse. DM, you need oh, to why am I so Delphi. tiny? Ah, okay. Oh, itty bitty Delphi. It's so cute. Uh, yet another teleport mishap. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Does I'm never teleporting it? again. Look, you know these things give you cancer, right? These things are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so as you find yourself ported inside what appears to be a... a, 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 a Portal? A tower? Uh, a, a, the, it's a stone structure. As an abyss. you see four people just like chanting and there's smoke heavy in the air and they're all like Zavana, where are we? Their, their humming is maintained constantly throughout as you find yourselves uh, in the middle of this uh, this tower alright show yourself shh. Shh. easy professor no uh, more games. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Hang on now. They 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 at least have brought us out of one certain doom. No, it wasn't them. So, shh. This has library energy here. We need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Please tell me that's going to be the title for this one. <laughs> library, library energy. energy. <laughs> that's right. Got um, guns and library energy. I love yes. it. Yes. Um, uh, so. Are, are we in the celestial plane? So as soon as he sees, you see one of them step forward. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Seal, seal it. Seal it. And they immediately stop chanting. As they stop chanting, the floor, which previously had been illuminated in this red and gold, flickers. <laughs> Stops. He says, <clears throat> well, I guess we're here now. I say, as I, as, I, as, I, as I notice the the teleport circle go away. I just kind of say that under my breath. Mm -hmm. Yes. Greetings <laughs> to Zavana Orun. I am Thub, and you are in the care. 
Do I recognize this voice? You do not. Yeah, this isn't. This is not. Are you good? We're, we're in the care. He he like he noted he like he doesn't even look as you speak. He looks immediately like directly at Zalvana. Would you please follow me? The <clears throat> Delphina's gonna grab Zalvana's hand and just hold on. Our leader would wish to speak to you in a moment. All right. He, he goes and starts to walk out this door into what appears to be a courtyard beyond. I will, oh, no. I'll, I'll put my rapier away, but stay vigilant. Silvana, where are we? You, you said you might be in trouble here? And where's the other one? The other one? Oh, um, I'm not sure. So I don't know if you guys remember, I told you I, uh, I kind of got myself into some trouble by writing about people who were devil worshiping. Didn't go over well. That's, you That's know. That's here. That's here. <laughs> well, so, um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, so uh, someone wants to talk to me and we're just going to figure out what that means. Should we, yeah. leave, should we leave it to you or should we make up shit and try to interfere like we always do? <laughs> I'm already working uh, on a, on a. Feel. I mean, if you, if you come up with a code word, I'll just start shooting when you're ready. <clears throat> All right. Code Miss word is, Arun, yeah. would you I'm, be so kind as to follow me? I'll be there momentarily. Thank you. Um, code word is pineapple. Gotcha. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Like they all just expressed a, a, a code word in front of like three of the cult. <laughs> they don't know what it means. <laughs> you better hope we don't need no exotic citrus fruit, motherfucker. <laughs> you best hope you stick to apples and oranges, bitch. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. That was that was the safe word. Um, I'll think of. <laughs> I mean, we were talking about the celestial plane being wild earlier. I mean, I was gonna say heaven. I don't, I don't know that we're in the celestial plane. So if if the guy who's speaking, I don't recognize him, I'm immediately gonna start turning toward the other ones. Be like, you, you say something. No, no, not not you, you. You, you say like, something. One by one, as you try to address them, they, they, they like bow their head and of like they avert eye contact. They don't engage you at all. Don't mind him. He's always like this. No, show yourself. I demand it. They have been instructed to do their tasks as you have been requested to do yours. Please follow me. I'm not speaking to you. I'm going to follow Zalvana. Professor... Just, come on, let's, you know. And I'm, I'm gonna move up to him and and just put my arm on his shoulder. Come on, let's. This isn't this I isn't know, right, I know, Xander. You're right. It's not right. But let's one situation to the next. Let's see what we're in for. I'm gonna go up on the side opposite of Delphina. Like like, demeanor completely changed. Like stone face, serious, silent. On Sylvana's like offside. Hmm. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna mirror Flynn and kind of like flank her, like bodyguard yes. style. Yes, I love Zilvana Squad. All right. So. <laughs> can uh, we can we like slow motion walk out if we're gonna do that? Yeah, yeah. Capes billowing. So, so you absolutely blow something up behind slow us. Slow motion walk out, but what it looks like is like the seven of you going. <laughs> it's so intimidating. And then like everyone else is just kind of like. <laughs> Savannah, play some cool ass music while we're walking. <laughs> Just like drumming. <laughs> I'll use my dancing lights can trip. I love it. Oob is looking at you guys like. Okay, fine. Let's behind us. Let's go. Jesus, oh can't even Wait have a second. moment when you're certain death. Let's, let's go, Zoob. <laughs> All right, Zune. so uh, <laughs> I think his name was Noob. <laughs> My name is Thoob. Thoob. Noob. Noob. 
this is going to be a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> but we're so, so screwed. <laughs> as you go ahead and and come out uh, from what appears to be a guard tower, you walk into a snowy court uh, court court uh, courtyard. Hey, court bleh. Court bleh. <laughs> um, a snowy uh, cordon blue. The footprints in the snow lead to various doors along the courtyard's perimeter, uh, including a double tall door that leads into what appears to be a keep. And there's, uh, it's similar to any, like for those of you who have been in a fortified structure before, like you look around and you're like, oh yeah, this is, this is solid stone built keep. You've got arrow slits and all along the second floor and there's barred windows as well. Um, to the east, there's a double door that leads to a small single story building. It has a, a slightly slanted uh, snow covered roof. Uh, there is the slight sound of like dogs barking. Uh, for, coming from inside, so you would suspect it being the Dale, this may be like the kennel where they keep the sled dogs, or possibly. Uh, west of the double doors are two unused merchant stalls with torn canopies, so maybe at one point this area had like a, a vendor that would come in or anything of the sort, but it looks like it hadn't been used in a while. And then tucked under um, some, uh, some of the icy stairs in the northwest corner is a slender wooden hut with a crescent moon carved into its flimsy door. Those of you familiar with the um, uh, the, the Dale, it's the, that's the outhouse amongst the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, are there any other people that we see? I mean, do we recognize the, what they're wearing as, as a, a specific kind of guard uniform or a, an order of something? Or is it so just unknown to those of us that aren't Zalvana? So there doesn't seem to be uh, any anyone in the courtyard proper that, mm -hmm. uh, that you can see. Um, as you look up, you see people kind of like patrolling the, um, the, gang, the, the the walkways and whatnot. And they all appear to be dressed similar to the cultists that you saw in the room uh, that brought you here. And you and keep so saying cultist and that kind of frightens me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I get oh, that. Oh, you're doing that on purpose. Yeah. No. Gotcha. Gotcha. No. <laughs> just just kind of just kind of know where you're at and uh you know li library <laughs> library vibes <laughs> so um Got gun library vibes yeah yeah right uh and at this point thube is going to move up and he's going to attempt to like do the aragorn like double door push but he's doesn't quite got the sauce for it so he's like mm -mm, like one kind of goes before the other one and then he kind of like shoves the other one Ariel open. definitely like laughs like yeah right just like, he shoots a glance behind him he's like Follow me. <laughs> I could have did that. <laughs> As you move into uh, the main courtyard of the care, uh, this is undeniably the Great Hall. Um, it's dimly lit by chandeliers that are missing most of their candles. There are the three tables in the center hall. They have like dirty dishes. However, um, you notice that there is a young tiefling servant who is walking around, and she seems to be the one in charge of cleaning up. Um, she recognizes or, or kind of sees the party come in and like it starts to like avert their eyes and kind of look down a little bit. But you notice if anyone paying attention to her, like that she's like giving you a little bit of like furtive glances, like. Okay. So she kind of keeps trying to like either get an eyeball on who's coming in or so that seems to be the impression that you get. Um, Thub moves here and enters in through this door. You have a moment. All right. Well, then I will. Let's all just move into that room. Then we've been trying to like make it seem as though we're walking in, but that's just not working. <laughs> Everybody, get in the damn room. Yeah. <laughs> working Except pretty well, for professor. Professor. Our professor. professor. The whole time. Professor, get over here. We're all, we're all walking in. <laughs> professor's like, I'm going to the outhouse. <laughs> he looks around and realizes that he's wandered off, and damn it. no one uh, is around. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, Come on, Grandpa. Grandpa, don't rush me. <laughs> I pee if I get pushed. <laughs> wow. Oh God. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to stroll right up to, uh, to the tiefling. Uh, hello. She, hello. Uh, can library vibes, uh, library energy. 
Uh, can you tell us um, where we where we are? We're grateful to have been not where we were, but I'm a little at a loss as to as to where we are and who to thank for that. You, you, uh, you shouldn't be talking to me. Well, now who says? Uh, he says I I'm. You, you're you're at the care. This is this this is care Dineval. You, you you're in the. Okay. Please, please, let me let me go about my work. And she starts collecting the dishes and gathering up. And I'm gonna come back over here and it is. <clears throat> I'm I'm gonna try to just keep it to where my party can hear, but I will, I will say loudly enough so that just they can hear. Uh, apparently, we're not supposed to talk to her. We're at Care Deneval. Why and can't then, we talk to her? Uh, I'm gonna look at Zalvana. Uh, I don't know. Can you take your mute off and share? <laughs> I I preemptively took my mute off. I, I know, <laughs> the first but, time this entire game. I, I know, but you know, it's, 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 sometimes Some you, you got sometimes you gotta hedge a bit, man. <laughs> That's fair. Um, do um, DM, do I know why she can't talk to us? So, uh, short answer is nope, because okay. like, you know, as much information walking into this, um, as they do. Okay. I will, uh, I'll use my, my quotation fingers. He says that we shouldn't be talking to her. Does that mean well, anything? It smells like indentured servitude. You know, yeah. there's that. I mean, would it be the speaker? Possibly. It's probably the most prominent person in Care Downfall, right? So what was the the safe word versus the word to just pop shit off with our completely empty gas tanks? Well, um What's I, what's the word for everyone take a nap? <laughs> <laughs> what's it like to have an empty gas tank? Uh, hey, you know what? Or they have an empty gas tank than to have seen inside the head of the dwarf makes flinger. me quiver. <laughs> uh, oh, have um, you had any idea what kind of ideas he has? All right. So uh, Thube comes back out from the room that he had entered. <clears throat> Would you be so kind as to please follow me? Yes. I want to telepathically reach out to the uh the teethling over there and uh just ask her if if you're in trouble give like blink twice so as you so as you reach out it startles her a little bit and she drops one of the plates uh and so it clatters and food easy. Ah. easy calm yourself she's like sorry I'm sorry hey you got six freaks in here all right she's gonna drop a plate or two and, you and call I, and yourself. I, and I and I I did speak to her. I I, I think I may have set her uh, off uh, out of sorts. I, I I apologize. I I did not know that was the protocol. Mm, the my mistake. Of... I should not have left you alone with her. She is a troubled youth. But no worries. Would you please be so kind as to follow me? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, need to follow me. <laughs> we don't. We don't have to walk any certain way, do we? <laughs> You'd be so kind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said good day. <laughs> as as we walk, I want to like make. A, if I can make eye contact, I'll I'll try to and just ask her telepathically. Can we trust him? So she 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 looks at you, so she looks at you and she's kind of looking around the room trying to see like where is the voice coming from and she manages to make a little bit of eye contact with you and she, all you get is like the raise of an eyebrow and then she turns and like heads back towards what you assume to be a kitchen so she starts to move out of the room yeah <clears throat> As you move into this room, uh, next, just off of the Great Hall, you notice that this uh, has 
all the trappings of what would be like uh, this. So having known what, what the speaker's layout looked like in East Haven, this is very similar to what uh, the speaker's like waiting room would have been, uh, similar to some of the, the, um, the, like the meeting room that was on the second floor of the East Haven Town Hall. Uh, it, it's like the furnishings are around. There is a, a fire burning in the hearth, which after the events of the cave, I imagine all of you feel a little bit better about the warmth coming from that. Um, this, uh, and so Th uh, Thube stands at the door and says, uh, one moment, he will wait and wish to speak with Miss Orun first, but uh, I'm sure the rest of you can go in after that. <clears throat> and then sure enough you hear there's like this awkward pause and he's just, where he's just waiting kind of looks at the door Zolvana do you feel comfortable going in on your own? I should be fine I think you know we'll see what happens I will shake my head affirmatively Good. This, uh, <clears throat> the master will see you now. <clears throat> and he opens the door. And for those of you willing to sort of like crane your neck around and kind of look into the room. Well, is, uh, is it, is it the, the door centered in there straight north of where I am? Yes. Yes. I, so I, me, I, will, I will look at every little bit of it. Let me go ahead and, and do, a, <laughs> do a big old reveal. So there's the door. And then. Sure enough. Uh, Zavala, do you go in? Um, yeah, I'm going to go in. Zavala's going to the principal's office. I know. Oh, she in trouble. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. All right. Ooh. Excellent. So, um, Zavala goes in. Zavala, secret secrets. And uh -huh. as, I, as she goes in, <laughs> Thub closes the door. Is he? Does he stay with us? Oh yeah, he stands. Like, he stands right at the door. Uh, is it I'm the is, evilest evil eye I can? Is it? Is it possible for us to get some coffee or some hot chocolate or something? That that cave was pretty, was was pretty nasty, and some of us are a little down on on health and would like to be warmed a little. Is 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 that a possibility? If not, that that's okay. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna. <laughs> Try to give you my best, like mad Muppet face. Uh, I am going to repeat everything I just said again in Elvish. <laughs> I heard you the first time. I will. <clears throat> and he he moves to the side, so he moves over here to the side of the room. He's like, I will call for some coffee to be. Or yes. Thank you. Be kind. And then thank, thank, thank you very much. You you are over gracious. to the door, and you see him pull a little rope, and it ring ring like seems to rig out. You um, are a, you are a gracious host. Thank you. Thank you. Lie to him. And so then and then, and then he goes back to standing in front of the door. Uh, so as that gets rung out, uh, and then secret secrets, Zolvana. It's like <laughs> two in one night. Z. This is my first one this entire time. Is that true? Yes. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> so, as you walk into the room, you see a, a rather paunchy looking uh, tiefling, red, kind of a little bit of a paunch on him. Uh, and he sees you and he wheels around and from his desk and goes, Ah, excellent. Zolvana. Orun, I presume. That would be me. Ha <laughs> ha, fantastic. I am Kadroth. A pleasure to finally meet you. Uh, my benefactor uh, suggested I reach out to you and that you would be a person able to help me with a problem that I have. Who is, uh, who's your benefactor? Oh, well, he is, um, a uh, person of many talents, uh, uh, sort of a, a big deal in the right circles, if you, uh, if you catch my drift. Huh? Huh? Um, I don't. You might have to be a little bit more specific. I see. I see. Well, uh, all will be revealed in time. I am interested, however, in you. So you were the one who discovered the cultist group in 
I believe, Waterdeep? Yes? Yes, the Hellbent Highborns, I take it you've read it? Yes, yes, very good read. My master was quite impressed with your ability to disrupt that. And as the ability to be a, a, a disruptor, as he says, uh, he thinks you and he can work together, if that's something that you'd be amenable to. That depends. Is this a, is this a mission? What, what does he need me to do? Mission. A mission is such a small word. This is more of a of a calling or a a, a, a passion. You see, uh, I have a uh, I have brought the light of my benefactor to this very small town. An effort to sort of make this a, a, a safer place. Um, you'll notice that I have the full confidence of the speaker as I stand here before you. <laughs> so rest assured, uh, we have the authority. We just need the muscle. Nay, I dare say the creativity, the the cleverness of a bard from the College of Valors. Uh -huh. Seems like you've done your research. <laughs> yes, the devil is in the details, of course. Indeed, which kind of puts me off because I don't know anything about you. Oh, well, go ahead and ask away. Oh, but where is your uh, where is your adventuring party, as it were? Uh, they're out in the other room, just, uh, you know, waiting for me. Uh, I see. Well, then, please, al al allow me. No need to be all secretive on my account. <clears throat> And as the door opens up, you are all greeted to this paunchy looking tiefling. Uh, he's red, has a bit of like a white shock of hair in the back, has a very prosperous figure. And he looks about the room and says, <laughs> look at all of you. My God, you look straight out of an adventure book. Uh, uh, Roth, the, uh, the master of the care currently, uh, looking after it for the speaker of Caer Dineval, and uh, who do I have the honor of addressing? Zovana Orun and her... <laughs> Band of misfits? Uh, <laughs> um, I'm Professor Reginald Wellington Smythe at your service. I see. Professor, pleasure. You look like a man who's well-read. <laughs> And, he, uh, uh, and I, I will, I will, I'll come forth just in a in a handshake style, very gregariously. Hello, I'm I'm Xander Stillmist. I uh, I suppose that we have you to thank for our our escape. We it is much appreciated. Things were going sideways very quickly. Do I recognize this voice? You do not. I want Damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, he he looks you at. You figured he, out yet that those are just voices in your head? So. <laughs> as, as oh no, that's a total he possibility. Says, he looks at you and says, "Ah, elvish, but something a bit more, if I'm not mistaken." Uh, Eladrin. Ah, yes, yes, brilliant. I'm sorry, what did you say your name was again? Cadroth. Cadroth. Yes, the master of this, the Knights of the Black Sword. I am the humble leader of this group. We have uh, come here to the care to try to bring light to this very dark time, in this very dark place. But surely you, as light bringers of your own would be uh, more than familiar with that. Uh, my benefactor asked me to seek out the inconquerable Zovana Olrun. Her uh, exploits have caught his eye. Uh, and it appears we uh, grabbed you and, uh, and... And who might that be? Ah, yes, my benefactor. Yes, uh, he is a, a, a very big deal in the right circles. If you catch my drift. And 
Yes, you you didn't mention who that is. Yes, I didn't. And who are you? He looks at Delphina. <laughs> As it goes all blurry. Oh, um, I'm 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 Zalvona's friend. I'm 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 Delphina Taldrin. Excellent. Oh, I hate that. And you, sir, you seem to be human. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a, just just a just unimpressive human. Oh, yeah. All right then, we'll put a a pause on that then. <laughs> and my my my, in dark times, always look for dark elves. I did not expect to see one bringing the light, though. And who are you, my dear? Very ill. A pleasure, very ill. And welcome all to the care and care interval. Uh, what do you, what do you, what do you call yourselves? We are None of your business. Oh, it's a bit of a mouthful. It's gonna be hard to put on a, <laughs> the letters going out, but I certainly can inscribe it on a shield or something. All right. Well, welcome to the care. I am Cadroth, and I require your assistance to save this land. Will you aid me? Um, how you about- no no, 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 do not, do not answer just yet. I see that you are all tired, beaten, seem low. Perhaps a night's rest, hmm? That I, would I, be, I, I can't really argue with that. I, I certainly think that, uh, that a night's rest would do us would do us all well. It, can you tell us a bit about something about about what what the need is? You seem to say it's great. Uh, maybe oh. we could we could consider oh, it, it as we none, as we rest. It is none other than the fate of the entire ten towns. But we can discuss that as soon as you are able to actually have two thoughts put together, my friends. You look like some of you can barely stand. Nasa uh, got two good legs. Yeah, a rest would be good. Can I, I feel fine. Can I uh can I insight this motherfucker? Oh, you absolutely no, he's can. racist. That's all I can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no insight needed for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, wisdom is not my greatest stat. But 16. 6. Not bad. Teen. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um I mean So what are you looking to insight on this dude? Ah, uh, just kind of in general, he he seems he has all the cards, and he seems to know a hell of a lot more about us than he's letting on. Truth. Um, and so I, I guess what I want to know, I guess that's what I want to see is like this. I, I don't like know. Positive intent, like if he's yeah, like 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 cer certainly up. he knows like, who the hell we are and everything about us. Where does that come from, and and is he meaning to use that against us? Uh, so you know. get, the, I you just get the, hate him already. Yeah, with a smile. Yeah. No, you're uh, no. Go with that. Go with that. Um, so he is not lying to you, and in fact there's a reason why he, he's not telling you, he's not answering questions when you ask him questions. And he also doesn't feel like he has to answer your questions when you ask him questions. So he, you're right. He definitely feels like he has the control of the room. Um, whether or not that is all bluster or whether or not he's got the backing of something else uh, that is yet to be determined, but you get the feeling that this guy puts a lot of weight into just the cult of his personality and the idea that like he can control the room because he's just able to be the most magnetic individual in that room. And it's because of his information that he's able to glean mm. off of things, whether or not that's like what his intentions are like you, I, you wouldn't trust him farther than you could throw him, but he also, you don't get the sense that he's lying to you in terms of his need or the fact that there is a dire issue at hand. That being said, secret secrets, professor. Oh no. Oh. 
Uh, I don't have very long. Deal with that blow bag. And then when the rest go off to their rest, find me on the second floor. I have answers. How will I know? Will I know you when I see you? <laughs> I, I am quite exceptional to find, but uh, uh, just look for the woman with a little bit of a lean to her. And she cuts off. <sighs> and that is where we will end tonight. Well, well come uh, on. WTF. That's right, baby. Welcome to Cold Hard Witch. Is he so, gonna is he gonna see us to a place to let us to let us long rest? Yes. So I will say uh for just pure meta, like you are if you are willing, Thube will get you to a place of rest. So we'll start next game at the start of your rest. And if you say to you, if you say to me, like, oh, I'm taking that long rest, if there's anything you want to do. In that eight hour rest, you can either reach out to me and be like, hey, we're gonna do that. But like you will have starting at the end, uh, at the next, at the beginning of next game, if you want it, a long rest, and then we can jump in. But if there's okay, anyone- so, so don't don't recover until yeah. we begin the stream next week, okay. Yeah, don't recover um, unless you choose, unless don't recover. And then when we start next game, you can either, you can either say to me in the interim week, I'm taking my long rest, that's what I'm doing. But if there's something you want to do during that, like your two hour break or like, you know, cause Technically a long Or if you're an elf and you only need four hours. Right, right, so you got exactly. Four hours to so explore. If, if some of y'all want to be like, I'm gonna go ahead and dip and I mean, we're, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna level up too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. yeah. Um that's what as, I heard. Uh, Quick question. This room that we're in, is yes. this kind of like the speaker's offices App. that we've seen before? So there's App. like a desk and papers and stuff. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Yeah. Funny, I don't see a desk in there. Hmm. That's why. Or I asked. papers. Um, I, uh, will he let us? Will he let us all stay in the same room? Oh, um, hmm. So yeah, his plan is to go ahead and have you guys. So like the sleeping quarters are not fanciful in any way, but uh, the, I will say that given that there are seven of you, uh, I would say probably the rooms will fit four each. So four and three would fit in a room. I mean, you all could try to scrunch into a room together. He's not too like. If you're looking to be like, well, we're all gonna sleep in the room together. I'm like, okay, fine. Like, do whatever you want. Like, we yeah. always sleep all together. Yeah. Don't ask questions. Puddle, puddle. Um, yeah. I will. Puddle, uh, puddle. Is that like secret secrets? Uh, <laughs> as, as we're uh, as we're as we're we're walking out of his office, uh, I will I, I will stop and and kind of slowly turn back and say, you know, I guess if you were looking for something to call us. I guess maybe you could call us the Harbingers. Oh, Welcome. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the care, Harbingers. <laughs>